What's going on, everybody? Scruffy Tam, Lord of Socks here, and I want to talk to you about this new series that I'm just now posting. It's really not new. We did this a few months ago. Uh, but on my spring break from work, I wanted to take five days and support a charity, and just raise some money for, for, you know, an awesome charity. So I did a, a charity world tour, spring break charity world tour, world tour, easy for me to say, right? And we visited five different places throughout our world all in the kit box parallel 42's kit box and the charity i chose was heart support the heart support when i was looking through the list of charities um heart support jumped out at me because i have a heart condition that i've had since i was 19 no worries i'm gonna be here for a while um but when i look deeper into what heart support's all about they're all about mental health and you know um keeping people from self-harm, all the things that, that we as a community on my channel support. You know, everybody's welcome here. Um, and, we, and we talk about mental health, not a lot, but, but we talked about it a lot during stream, but we talk about it a lot, um, or, or some, excuse me, during my stream. So what better way to uh, change the world than to make a difference in a life or lives by raising money for this awesome charity um during this series of streams we talked about mental health and we actually were able to um help a couple people that came in potentially change their lives through just talking about mental health and pointing them in the right direction so without further ado i hope you enjoy this series i call the charity world tour spring break charity world tour there we go i'll get it right but enjoy uh it's a series of five i should have posted them a long time ago but anyways here you go y'all enjoy it take care and i'll see you on my channel twitch.tv slash scruffy tam i'm also on all the other social medias just google scruffy tam you'll find me talk to you later see ya which one are you as for me i'm a dippity doer peace good morning everybody how's everyone doing this morning get it got everybody in the house already dotty dog is here welcome dotty dog how are you doing king cobra also here welcome king cobra how are you doing brother tailspin is here rat hole is also here welcome rat hole and uh let's see here wesley is here also all right, socks command going on. Let's see here. Hey, what's going on, Tyon? How are you? Good to see you again. Really nice to have you back with us. So my socks of the day on the right foot, because we're going to be in Chile. We're going to be in South America. So on the right foot, I've got tacos. On the left foot, I've got burritos. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. Oh, thank you for the first time chat. Uh, followed yesterday, watching for the UK. Should be working. So if you can make it sound like you're on a team's call for the next three hours. Okay, so what's going to be our goal? Um, as for, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's going on? How are you? Proxy, thank you so much for the follow yesterday. Thank you for that first time chat. And uh, thank you for work lurking. I appreciate it. Yes, rat hole. Rat hole, I did. I shaved the goatee just like I said I would Monday. I said Monday if we hit our donation goal that I would shave the goatee. We hit it Monday, so I shaved it. It'll be back though. Filthy, what's going on? How are you, Filthy? Good to see you. Oh, Dottie Dog, you're in school for the next two hours. No worries at all. No worries. I understand. 
uh, on a normal week i would be right now i'd be teaching school so i, I totally understand but it's spring break so here i am on a wednesday morning this is rare very very rare i hope everyone is doing really really well this morning and you're ready for another amazing flight another day of making a difference in the world um it's been a phenomenal week we're only two days in this is the third day wow it's been awesome i mean the the support shown by you guys to heart support by myself or to myself uh has been just just overwhelming it's really been awesome oh cool your left sock, sock has heart candies and your right sock has rainbows heck yeah chion awesome awesome another another mismatch sock wear there i love it i love it i am trying so hard i'm trying to get in touch with happy socks uh which is who i get most of my socks from is happy socks trying to get them to uh you know talk to me about some kind of deal but like so far it's just been ignored but anyways it's all good it's all good so i did have a couple follows off stream uh, right at the end of stream yesterday ace game zone followed and then uh 14 hours ago wisconsin followed and then nine hours ago cryptic cryptid keeper cryptid keeper followed me so thank you for those off stream follows those always amaze me when i get a follow when i'm not even streaming it just it, it's mind-blowing to me so uh let's switch to let me switch to the scene here there we go rick what's going on how are you rick good to see you this morning i hope you're doing well uh let me give you rick a shout out really quick rick raided me monday uh rick is a streamer as well uh dotty dog also is a streamer uh king cobra i don't know why automatic shout outs aren't working today oh, you just woke up nice nice nothing wrong with that i've been up uh for a little while i've been up for a little while uh let's see here sound alerts Wait a minute now, why are sound alerts not working? There we go. There, okay. Now yeah, sound alerts should be should be back. So there's some shout outs right there. Oh, you don't know if it's a thing outside Sweden, but here mismatched socks represent neurodivergent pride, specifically autism. Oh, that's really cool, Chion. I have never heard of that. Um, never heard of that here. Uh, it's just the thing that that I do that makes me different in real life and uh, in, as a streamer. So yeah, I, I haven't heard of that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so today we're gonna be flying in Chile. I'm already there, the plane's already running, um, but I'm gonna wait just a few minutes to let other people load in that wanna fly along that i'll jump out of the plane see if any oh yeah i got someone's shadow right there got two people two people waiting on the tarmac ready waiting on the runway oh three cappy stick is there in h145 heck yeah so you can already see kind of a preview of what we're doing today right irish wake what is going on how are you irish wake good to see you this morning irish wake another streamer friend we give irish a shout out really quick there we go. That bit of line of Congo line of cats. Irish does some flight simming and also some American truck simulator simming. There we go. We got it. Got uh, three people already loaded in. So anyone else that wants oh, no. to load in, jump on in. Uh, my Just tank is full. I filled up my. Uh, I filled up my fuel. I've got my coffee. I've got coffee, I've got fuel in the plane, so I'm ready. Irish Wake, how are you this morning? Really nice to see you. A little preview of what we're gonna be doing in the background back there. We're gonna be flying in some mountains of South America, specifically the country of Chile. You might need something doing well otherwise. Awesome, glad to hear you're doing good. 
This week we're doing awesome things in the world. We are uh, raising money for Heart Support, an amazing charity. I'm gonna go ahead and give Heart Support a quick shout out. There we go. So if you want to know more about Heart Support, what they do, what they're about, um, they're not a heart, they're not a not a body heart uh, charity. And if you are so inclined to donate, you can also do that right there as well. That's what this week is all about. This week's all about raising some funds to help that nonprofit out. They're amazing people. And uh, just flying along, enjoying the community because I'm on spring break and I figured why not just spend time with you guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let me jump into the plane, make sure I have all my lights on that need to be on. Bealzy, what's going on? How are you, Bealzy? Uh, Bealzy is also a streamer, but uh, Bealzy streams on Trovo, the, the streaming platform called Trovo. Uh, I didn't know that, Bealzy. I did not know that you streamed on Trovo until uh, I think it was this morning I saw your post on, um, where was it, Instagram, I think? They mentioned that. Didn't realize that you were on Trovo as well. But how are you doing, Bealzy? Really nice to see you. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get this get this thing going this morning. Y'all ready? I am ready. I'm excited about today. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Things are happening to the plane already. There we go. And we're up. All right. We are in the air. This, uh, this kit fox gets in the air super easy. All right, let me look at, uh, hey, Vomit, good morning. Uh, lurking today, you're working. No problem at all, dude. I totally understand that. Whoa, someone else just gave. Who, who, who was that? Who was that? Irish Wake, thank you for the, uh, dude, I appreciate that. Thank you for the $20 donation. Yeah, the first goal was absolutely shattered. Um, so I increased it, and, uh, you know, I, I know that's, that's a, it's going to be a tough reach. It's going to be a tough goal to reach. And uh, if we hit it, that's cool. If we don't, that's cool. Thank you so very much from myself and from heart support. Uh, I truly do appreciate it. Rich is also in. Thank you, Rich, for jumping in and flying along. I'm a little stuffy again this morning. Sorry about that, y'all. Things are blooming outside. It's that time of year for us here. And I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna decrease my altitude now because this is supposed to be a bush flight. And if there's a ton of snow on the ground, I'll uh, change from live weather to remove some of the snow, but I'm kind of excited about seeing some snow, honestly. And I figured this plan at 80 knots. So this plan was figured at 80 knots and it should take about four or five hours. Dude, airlock doc, I'm telling you, I am. I am. I'm, I think I'm done with the Cessna. The only thing that, that bugs me about this is the landings, and I'll get used to it. I just I just got to get used to it. But how are you, airlock doc? Really nice to see you. Replica Gaming, what's going on? How are you? So let me give some shout outs again uh, or just to, to a couple more people. Uh, so airlock doc, Replica Gaming, uh, Vomit, Vomit uh, flies slot for the MFS Thunderbirds. I'll talk more about slot in just, I mean, uh, vomit in just a minute. Uh, give me just a minute. I don't. I don't like talking over the uh, the 
clips there. Yeah, so Airlock Doc, um, thank you for that. I, I enjoyed that flight. I did not stay for the Boneyard. Um, I was kind of playing around with the plane a little bit, seeing how fast it could go and testing different things. Uh, and and like, I, like I said, when she saw me disappear, um, I did overspeed by a ton and crashed it. Oh no, really? So uh, yeah, so I followed Allison, gosh, a, for a long time I have followed Allison. I, I love Allison, she's a great streamer. And I love what she does, that she does the, um, the historical, you know, women's flights. I love that concept. But usually she, usually she streams at a time when I can't be in there for long. Uh, but yesterday after my stream, I did my after stream stuff, you know, I jumped on Discord, you know, uh, messaged on Discord the people I needed to and responded to stuff and then, uh, I said, well, you know what? Let me see who's let me see who's on and flying. No, actually, I was gonna fly a little bit, and I saw um, Dougal McTavish. So I spawned in on Dougal, and I said, "Holy crap! Who are all these people?" And then I saw Allison's plane. I said, "Oh, it's Allison." You've had it over 190, but you have failures off because you tend to go AFK. It's like, oh, gotcha. Yeah, right. I need to uh, I need to have failures off too. So um, so when I crash, it's not quite so big a deal on stream but i like to do things you know in, in kind of in kind of realism yeah when 90 you really can't pull up right <laughs> kind of a little difficult so for those of you that are flying along today or, or that are in in chat today today we are flying in south america and so yeah i'm, I'm 53 year olds three, three i can't even talk i'm 53 years old but i can't talk um, I've been around a long time, but you know, even at 53, you still learn things that I probably should have known, but I didn't. So when I think of South America, I think of hot, um, you know, desert. I didn't think of this. So when I was looking for somewhere to fly on the world map, when I was um, making these flight plans for this week, when I saw the mountains in South America and then I flew into them, I couldn't believe that uh, that they had snow down here in South America. So we're in Chile. We're in, uh, we're in the southwestern side of South America in the country of Chile flying today. Yeah, that happened to me here. I talk a couple times. I went a little too deep with my wheels and nosed over. Yep. Whoa, someone else gave. What? Dom, thank you so much for the $24 gift, Dom. I appreciate you so much. Giving $25 to heart support. Oh, $24, excuse me, to heart support. Thank you so very much for that gift. I appreciate it. Heart support's heart support. Appreciate it. Appreciates it as well. I need water. Dom, what's going on? How are you? So good to see you this morning. Uh I know, right? Oh, look at you. I didn't even pay any. That's why it was that's why it was 24. I didn't even look at the number. That's hilarious. So a little shout out for Dom the de, uh, the developer. Dom's a good friend of the community. Um Dom's been around since I was a, a variety streamer. Rock Rock, what's going on? Good to see you. I'm near Cordillera de los Andes. And that's why there's a lot of snow. Sorry about your English. No, no problem at all. Yeah, this is this is pretty beautiful. Oh, I need to slow down a little bit. My intention is to fly this at around 80 knots and I look down and I'm flying almost 95. Yeah, sorry about my stuffy nose, everybody. Got a little bit of a stuff going on this morning. Oh, nice. Doing good. Just drinking some coffee. Boyfriend went to the office, so I had to get up early for work. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for being here, Dom. I really do appreciate that. And thank you so much for giving. Thank you so much for giving. 
um it's it's an amazing cause they really do some awesome stuff yeah i'm stuffy tam today yes i am hopefully this gets cleared up uh as as stream goes along hopefully yeah i'm stuffy tam a lot though um i have i have really bad sinus problems so the closer it gets to blooming time uh the, the more stuffy my nose will get oh yeah it's just congestion oh yeah 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 it's it's that time of year it's just the way it is yeah i mean it's I pretty much have always had horrible sinus issues. Resurrect, what's going on? How are you doing? Good to see you this morning. Hope you are well, my friend. Give Resurrect a shout out really quick. There we go. Good to see you, Resurrect. You're up earlier than usual. Well, awesome, well, awesome. Me. Um, yeah. I'll take credit for that. <laughs> you stopping by again evan you the goat chris a bitch tell him chris he's a bitch just trying to get my plane trimmed out where i can fly at around 80 knots yeah your shout out always shows the ending scene it's okay vinton vinton is in the house also thank you vinton flying along i'm gonna look in just a minute as soon as i get my plane trimmed up i'll show everybody what's up Crippin Keeper, yeah, thank you so much for that follow a little while ago. Thank you for the first time chat. I, I did see where you followed a while back. Yeah, it is a frozen lake. It's actually more of a frozen river. So I don't know if I can land on it and I'm afraid to touch my wheels to it because I don't want to flip over. But Crippin, I really do appreciate uh, that first time chat. I appreciate the follow. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you caught me live for the first time. I hope you're well today. Trying to get my plane adjusted just right. Oh, Wesley's gonna test it. Nice, nice. Let me know. Oh, you buried your coven snow. What make a snow angel? You tried to land on a frozen inlet in Alaska and buried your coven snow. No, no. All right, so let's see who's flying along today. We got Vinton. We got uh, King Cobra. I know, uh, uh, yeah, Cappy Stick is back there, Rich Chevy, Rat Hole, and Forney are also flying along. Thank you, uh, everybody, for flying along. I'm sure more will join as the day goes on. I know uh, Shoney Gaming is streaming right now, and Shoney, a lot of people that are on Shoney's channel are also friends of, of our channel here. Oh, you were able to touch down. Nice, okay. Did you do like a full stop or did you stay down for a while? And Wesley, you're venting, right? Am I right on that? Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Good deal. Oh yeah, you're stopped. Cool, okay, so it is totally frozen. You wanna go back to South America? You haven't been since 2011. Oh, very cool, Dom. That's pretty awesome. Didn't know that about you. Montana Black, thank you for that follow. Now can he take off exactly? That is the question. Montana Black, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. How are you, my friend? Nice to have you on the channel with us today. Uh, if you are a flight simmer and you'd like to fly along, feel free to jump on in. You don't even have to ask. We're on server US East. The uh, closest airport is showing up here in the upper right-hand corner. You can also just send me a friend request in the sim and it'll pop up and let me know that you sent it. I'll accept it. Then you can just spawn in on us. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Which I'm happy with work lurkers too. Hey, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that person a lot. I don't. So, uh, Crippin, um, a while back I decided that I did want to go for my private pilot's license. But then I, I got real with myself. So I bought ground school. I've got ground school. Uh, but then I finally, I just got real with myself and I'm not financially able to Hello. fly 
Dom, thank you so much for that lurk. Tell us what's going on. Yes. Tell us with the work lurk. Thank you for that. Uh, give me just a minute. Give me just a minute, Griffin. Good buddy Tomo's world, uh, good good friend, very talented person, flight simmer, uh, does some Minecraft also um, once a week. Great, great guy though. Go check out Tomo's world if you don't already. So yeah, I've got a, um, so our local airport that's a half mile from here, they don't have a quote unquote um, flight school. So I've got an acquaintance who is a CFI and I talked to him about, you know, being, being my CFI and we agreed to pricing and I bought ground school. I'm doing the King schools online ground school, but my schedule and his schedules just didn't work out. And it turned out it, it worked out good. It worked out good because um, I, I, I had to get real with myself and realize that at the point I am right now, I don't have the funds to fly as much as I need to to get my private pilot's license in 40 hours or a little bit more. So I've decided to pay down some debt and then pursue it again. So that's my story. Yeah, I have tried Minecraft. I've actually got Minecraft on my Nintendo Switch, but I just, I, I maybe I just haven't played it enough, but I, I just cannot get into it, I'm sorry. Fire Sandy, what's going on? How are you? Yes, it does, Airlock Doc. Yes, it does. Yes, sir. You got it. Oh, so we are flying north. So we are we started south and we're flying north. Let me show you, Tomos. And I meant to have shown everybody this. So this is where we're flying today. We started, well, let, let me zoom way out. So this is uh, this is South America. This is Chile, and we are um, we started out at this airport, and it's pretty much just bush flying. I've I've got a couple airports along the way, but there's not a whole lot of airports out here. Uh, so we're just gonna be just cruising. We're just gonna be cruising today out in the open, in the snow. If it becomes too much snow where you really can't see scenery, I may dial back the snow just a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Because I really would like to see the water. There is water right here. This is frozen, so I'd love to see it. Oh, really? Just south of, south of me is the Magellan Strait, where Magellan found the passing a few hundred years ago. Oh, dude, Tomos. That's awesome. I, sh I should have researched it more, and I could have included that. But honestly, what I was doing, I was, uh, I would, I opened up little, I mean, I opened up flight sim and I opened up the world map and I just kind of scrolled the world map looking for places where we could fly in valleys between mountains. And when I saw South America, I said, wow, that's beautiful. Let's do it. And here we are. You're such a goblin, so any game where you can infinitely collect stuff is your dream. You're a Mario Kart Switch player, Crippin. I am too. I am too. Unfortunately, um, all of my time, not unfortunately, because I love flight simming, but all my time is, is taken now in planning and flying and just doing flight sim. I love it. I love it. Mostly PUBG and Days yourself. Oh, you're going to start the stream. Sweet, Crippin. Well, let me give you a shout out and that way uh, when you do start streaming, maybe you'll have some followers to give you a good kickstart there. Uh, Chile is an amazing place for this. Chile has the Atacama Desert. You think it's the most dry one on earth, really? And see, this is what I want. I want it to be where there's some ice, but some water and the, the ground's not completely covered. So this is, and I didn't even have to dial it back. It's like, it's like it's listening to me. 
Microsoft Flight Sim is listening in on us. It's like Alexa. You're very welcome, Crippin. And I got to give you a follow also. Out of Camden Desert. <laughs> so what other things can we put on our wish list while they're listening? Microsoft Flight Sim, we have so many other things we'd like as well. Can you make them happen immediately like this? Oh, who is that? Oh, that is uh, for the love of virtual flying. I heard someone shout out come up and well, I was uh, I had clicked off screen for just a minute. What's going on for the love? How are you Skynet? If it's Microsoft, right? It is. It is Microsoft. Those you're thinking apparently. Yes, they do. For the love. What's going on? How are you uh, for the love of virtual flying is a good, good friend of the community from the UK um, does flight it's simming uh, sure, actually actually did a uh, vat sim did a vat sim stream not too long ago uh great great guy go give him a follow so irish wake wants to see my socks of the day and keeping with the south american theme um i've got my uh taco socks on one foot burrito socks on the other and those are my socks of the day tacos and burritos i understand we're not in mexico right i mean i, I understand that but uh you know I, I, when i think of south america that's what i think of is tacos and burritos right yeah we got a full meal exactly hey fatty what's going on how are you how you doing fatty you doing any tower climbing today and dude i am i am totally amazed at, at, at what you do i love those photos thank you keep them coming all right i'm gonna climb and let's look at these uh th these are anomalies in the sim I promise you that uh, that these two very tall, very needle looking structures are not a part of real life down here. And there's actually a couple of these along this route that I noticed when I was making this route and flying it the other week. Of course it would be, of course for the love, please do. Oh, is the hardest? Yeah, I know you said it was pretty hard. Dude, and, and I just, I don't know how you guys climb. I mean, you, you gotta be, you gotta be very agile. I know I couldn't, I'd climb like 10 feet and be out of breath and about to drop off the tower. So Fatty One Kenobi uh, actually climbs cell phone towers and, and services cell phone towers. That's what Fatty does. And uh, he posts some uh, pictures in my Discord that are just absolutely amazing. So y'all, again, today, just like every other day this week, I've got plenty of time. This is actually the slowest, the slowest, what? This is actually the shortest route of the entire week. Uh, this one is, so we've got time to go explore if you'd like to, so that's what I'm doing. Drake, you'd love Daisy. You build bases. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I know airlock dog, right? I do too. So like, if I'm in a plane, I'm not really that scared. But yeah, if I was climbing a tower, oh my gosh, there's no way I could do that. No way I could do what he does. So I'm going to jump back into the cockpit really quick. And let's look at this. Let's look at this inside the cockpit view really quick. And then we'll, uh, I'll jump back outside and we'll look at this. This is pretty funny though. It's pretty funny. It's like the snow was falling and then there was an updraft. There was an updraft right here, which pulled the snow up and it stacked up. Y'all forgive my stuffiness. It's it's that time of year. It's pollen and allergy season here where I live. Oh, Fournier. Why did I not do what you're doing? Let me let me let me bring my altitude back down. That's awesome. Icicles, right? So there was a pretty big updraft because the wind, what happened was the wind hit right here and it pulled up and it pulled the snow up and stacked it. But oh my gosh, this is this is awesome right here. 
yeah my allergies get really bad so for the next probably month or two on stream I'll, I'll most likely sound like I sound right now so I went full flap so I don't break but oh my gosh check this out and it's hard to say if this is an anomaly or if this is how it is in real life with this canyon right here wow that's pretty cool though yes this is the kit fox oh crippin i would be I, I would probably yeah I, I i don't know what would happen i'd probably puke looking at it hey paparazzi what's going on yes we have pylons we have pylons what's going on uh paparazzi good to see you this today and thank you for the work lurk thank you for the work lurk yes i am i am i am 100 percent sold on the kit fox I am going to forsake the 172, y'all. I know you never thought I would say that. I know you never thought I would do it. But I am ditching the uh, 172 even on my Between Two Oceans tours. I'm flying the Kit Fox from now on on my regular, regular flights. Okay, two questions. Does Microsoft Flight Sim have weather simulation? Yes, it does. Yes, you can fly in rain and stuff. Is it possible? Uh oh, I missed missed the second one. Hey, Jim, what's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Uh, yes, you can just drive the plane down the highway. Yes, you can. You can fly it however you want to. Oh, Rock Rock, it could be. I'm not sure. Watch the nose. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Jim, uh, get it. Yeah, please do. Jim, I'd love to have you fly along, like always. And, and anyone else that wants to jump in, feel free to jump on in and fly along. Anyone that wants to fly, you are welcome to fly with us. You doing not bad? After a few climbs, the, ter the terrification goes away. Wow. Yeah, so um, so what's really cool about this is there is simulated weather, and what's what's really awesome is they take the weather from wherever you're at and load it in. So right now, the weather in in Chile should be what you see right now. It should be clear with you know with scattered clouds. Uh, there should be snow on the ground in real life. Uh, the winds should be what the winds are right now and I have time of day turned on also so it is this time of day so right now I've got live weather I've got live time so this should be the weather in Chile right now this should be the time in Chile right now but I can change it to be whatever I want it to be but I like flying in real weather so it's it's really amazing and yes the world as tomo says my friend tomo's world uh, says this the world is your runway in this sim okay i'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna fly right back to uh to where i start where where i uh where i was before i got off course sorry trying to uh, words come hard for me sometimes you didn't play no flow. Okay, there we go. That point of the mountain would be a fairly steep slope for skiing. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Oh, how do you get the Kit Fox? Go to Orbix. O-R-B-X. Orbix.com. And I look up um, parallel 42. So slash slash 42. That's who made the plane. It's amazing. And it's fairly inexpensive also. Yeah, the freedom. That's right. The 42 freedom, freedom Fox. Thank you. Uh, the guy that helped develop this plane was also was in my channel Monday. The guy that helped develop the plane. It, it was pretty cool having him in the channel. Um, can't even imagine the amount of work and books upon books of code and the computing power. Yeah, a whole interactable globe with changing weather. Yeah, it really is incredible. And um, I don't know if you noticed yesterday when we were doing some of the flying down low. Yeah, it's not bad. It, it's really not bad. It's not a bad price at all. 
when we were flying down low and the jets were flying by me and it was stirring up dust so there's actually dust too and uh when you get close to the water it, there is water spray also sometimes it's amazing and the the earth in the sim is a one-to-one -one ratio so the earth in flight sim is as big as the earth is in real life yeah airlock doc it is totally worth it yeah for the love i am blown away i am absolutely blown away at the support this week and we still have basically three more days to go today tomorrow and friday so yeah this week is all about supporting uh, heart support heart support is a uh uh, no, I never stream on Sunday. Um, Sunday's just a day to breathe after streaming Friday night and Saturday morning. But no, the plan is I'm not going to stream um, Friday evening, I don't think. But I will stream Saturday morning. That's the plan as of now. I'm still going to stream Saturday morning. But I just got to have some time to... To... Uh, whatever you wind down, I guess, after this week. Oh, no problem here a lot doc i understand yeah some scruffy tan time exactly so while we're talking about heart support i've said this many many times and i and i, I promise you yes it sounds cliche but i don't mean it to be i don't mean to to just repeat the same things and make them worthless because i'm saying that but um yesterday yesterday on my channel actually two times this week i've had two people in my in my channel this week who have had relational issues lately they were in really really bad relationships and they sought help and they got out one of those people was in my channel yesterday um she she said she didn't mind me saying anything about it it was lady kaylee ice man what's going on ice man how are you doing what's going on ice man flying in uh, Chile today. You got to shoot off an hour and have some lunch and be back afterwards. No problem at all. Thank you so much for the love for hanging out. I appreciate you. So I had a, uh, had a young lady in my channel yesterday who, um, when I was talking about when you're going through stuff. When I was talking about going through hard times and how you feel like you're isolated and you're all alone and there's no one that can help, um, she even made the statement right then that yes, when she was going, she, so she was in a relationship um, that, that got very, very bad. Uh, she finally got help and she, she left and she's moved away and she's doing better, but still struggling. Uh, and she she agreed with me while I was saying when you're going through stuff that you're um, that you're isolated that you feel that you feel isolated. She said yes. She she 100% felt like she was all alone in the struggle that she was going through. And there's another person also um, going through a similar situation right now, going through it right now. Um, who's who's in who's part of the community. And so I want to say, I know, I know that there's someone listening. There's someone who, who will listen to this VOD who's going through a hard time, whatever that looks like for you, whatever that hard time looks like. It may be that you lost your job. It may be that you're having a hard time at work. It may be that you're struggling to lose weight. You're addicted to something or, you know, you're just, um, I don't know. You just, you just lost your home. You lost your car, your car got repoed, whatever that is, whatever that is, you're gonna feel like you're doing it all alone. You're not, you're not, there is help. Uh, exclamation heart support will get you somebody that will listen to you and can point you in the direction of getting some help. So that's what this week is about. It's about talking about mental health. It's not a taboo. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Get help. Talk about it. Talk about it. Heck, I'm here for you. If you want to DM me on Discord or whisper me on on Twitch, I'm not a counselor. 
but I'm a good listener. I talked about my story Monday morning. I told I told my story Monday morning. So if you want to hear, if you want to hear what I went through as a ten-year-old child, um, go back and listen to Monday's VOD. Okay. But I'm very, very, in case you couldn't hear the passion in my voice, I'm very passionate about people. Uh, very passionate about, um, you know, I just, I love people. I really do. And so uh, when I was, when I was uh, thinking about doing spring break, you know, streaming every day, I said, you know what, if I'm going to stream every day, I may as well do it for a cause. Let's let's find a good cause to give to. And I am blown away by the support y'all have given. Just absolutely blown away. So thank you for all of those of y'all that can give. And if you couldn't give, you know, I understand that as well. Totally do. being here being here and being just being here part of the community hanging out in chat um you know flying along or whatever is is enough for me so you know if you can give do it if you can't that's perfectly fine as well i understand Dom, thank you for posting that and i think i'm gonna roll back live weather just a touch uh well actually i'm gonna not roll roll it back i'm gonna do this Thank you for that door knock, troll. There, I'm going to do this. So I'm off of live weather now. Um, should I do some clouds? I think I'll do clouds. Bring in a little bit of snow. There we go. There we go. So now we can see now we can see a little bit more detail. Hey Topple, what's going on? Thank you for that door knock troll. I don't know why I wondered who that was. I should have known it was you. What's going on, my friend? Good to see you, hey Topple. So uh, my socks of the day. Uh, we're flying in South America. When I think of South America, I think of tacos on the right foot and burritos on the left foot. So when I think of South America, I think of tacos and burritos. Those are my socks of the day. Yeah, so this looks pretty awesome. Now that I've rolled back weather a little bit, this is this is very, very nice. And I'll, I'm going to swing around and see who all's flying with us in just a minute. Give a little shout out to all those flying along. I'm flying a little bit slower than when I first said I was going to, but I'm digging this scenery. Plus, I want to touch my wheels on some of these sandbars. And uh, Chino, I'm going to look at your chat in just a minute. Sorry about that. Come on, wheels. Get down there. Do not flip. Do not flip. Well, you know what? <laughs> Too late. I'm not going to hit the water and flip. All right, let's see here. Hey, typical warden. What's going on? How are you today? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you are, if you are, you a flight simmer? If you are and you'd like to fly along, jump on in, fly along with us. We're having some fun in Chile, South America today. Nice to see you. Thank you for the first time, uh, chat. Like, if you asked me if I would not, it, you would have bet money on this game. It could never be done to scale. It is incredible. I would love to meet the devs one day, see if they're okay. Oh, Chino. So, um, be sure to follow MSFS official, Microsoft Flight Sim official. They have developer question and answer days. So, where you can go on there and actually talk to the developers. And they talk about updates and problems and stuff like that. So yeah, by all means, do it. Touch and goes what the kick fox. Yes, it was. Are you going to see a hockey game? So you do a flip. Uh, typical warden. I, uh, if I touch the ground hard enough, you'll see a flip. I've done plenty of them. Um, I can do. I could do a barrel roll, but I'm too close to the ground for that right now. Uh, hey Topple, who are you going to see? We have a local uh, a local hockey team here. In South Carolina, of all places, we have a hockey team. But uh, which hockey team are you going to see? So I think I'm going to follow this river. It's taken me off course a little bit, but it's it's all good. That's what we're about. 
Oh no, typical. I am so sorry. So sorry to hear that. And yes, um, I didn't mean to uh didn't mean to create a trigger for you. The London Knights. Awesome. A topple sweet. Congratulations on that. Um, I have not been to a hockey game, and I'm actually from Massachusetts. So this is the Serrano River. Thank you for that. Rock Rock, are you from this area? So where am I flying? Um, I am flying in Chile. Uh, southwestern South America is where we're at. Uh, really, really beautiful. Each oh, no, no, okay. Um, each day this week, we're flying a different part of the world. Um, I call it the Spring Break Charity World Tour. Oh, you're from North Chile. What? So you know this area then? Cool. Very cool. Nice to have a uh, nice to have a somewhat of a tour guide with us today. Someone who knows what's up. Hamilton. Sweet. Yes, that is it. Exactly typical. So when I was um, planning this week, oh, dude, I went too. When I was planning this week, I um, I got on Microsoft Flight Sim and I was kind of spinning the globe, just looking for somewhere that had mountains and valleys we could fly into. And so when I think of South America, I think of hot, tropical, desert area. I was blown away when I saw the mountains and the snow and I knew that I had to do it. So I made a flight plan for us for today doing this. You got kicked out of Canada because you hate coffee. Oh, hockey. Said you had to go. <laughs> so between hockey and Nickelback, it was, oh, yep. See you later, airlock. See ya. You're out. <laughs> So uh, typical, do you have flight sim? Do you have Microsoft flight sim? If you do, jump on in and fly along with us. Uh, we're flying in US uh, East server. And uh, the closest to airport is showing up here in the upper right hand corner. If you'd like to jump in and fly, please do. All of my streams, all of my flights are all 100% user inter I mean, viewer interactive. I have a slogan, no rules, just flight. Oh, nope, you're dirt pro, you have never winter nights. Okay. I totally understand. I've been there, been there. You have to go to a Blackhawks game in January because your boyfriend got tickets from some executive in his country who had four, a company, I mean, who had four seats in the 100s. Oh, wow, awesome, Dom. That's really cool. So I'm gonna fly this entire winding river. Let me show y'all. Um, so my flight plan has us going, you know, flying the magenta line straight. But what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna follow this whole river. So we'll follow this path all the way up and then then continue right here. This is beautiful. Oh no, oh no, Fortier, Fortier doing a little little uh, twisted on the on the uh, engine there. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I know, Tomos, it's beautiful. I rolled back live weather so we could see the water. Oh, airlock doc, you gotta go. Catch you when you get back if I'm still on. Cheers, cheers chat. Everyone go get a Kit Fox and do some bush flights, yes. Dude, thank you so much, airlock, for being here. I appreciate you. You brighten, you always brighten chat, and I appreciate that. Typical Warden, thank you for the follow. Thank you for that follow, Warden. I appreciate that. We are a community of amazing people. We're, we're a community of amazing people. Um, and so I call my channel the sock drawer, uh, typical. And the reason I call it the sock drawer is just like a drawer full of socks that may have different colors, different shapes, different sizes. The community here is made up of a lot of different people who may be different shapes, different sizes, different colors different beliefs different hurts we may be hurting uh going through things and so uh 
Yeah, but we all come together here and put all those cares aside and just have a lot of fun. So that's why I call us the sock drawer. Blue Jays, awesome flying there, my friend. Good stuff. Oh, I know, Resurrect, it is, man. It's beautiful. It's a little cold, though. It's a little cold. But it is beautiful. So I'm going to just follow this winding river. Y'all feel free to fly whatever you want to, however you want to, wherever you want to. I've just decided that I'm going to follow this river because it's going to take us, you know, where we're wanting to go anyways. And so why not enjoy the beauty of the water, the beauty of flying low and slow over it? Hello. Iceman, thank you for that lurk. Oh, Iceman, I'm so sorry. How are you doing, man? I forgot to, I, I didn't, I didn't talk to you. I'm sorry. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, I did give Iceman a shout out. I hope you're doing well. And um, so Iceman always, always flies um, H-145 helicopters. Even on his stream, he always flies a helicopter. A really cool guy. And, and my neighbor, he lives about three hours from here. So we live really close to each other. Oh, nice. Oh, you're flying from Nagasaki. Dude, that's awesome. It may have been your stream. Someone's stream I was in, they were in Nagasaki. And uh, wow. I was blown away at how populated it is. I mean, it is it is a huge, huge city. Nice, man. That's pretty awesome. So starting at uh, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Good stuff. Yeah, it really is. Because when I think of Nagasaki, you know, I think of nothing. Hello. Irish Wake, thank you for the lurk. Oh, you got to work? No problem at all, dude. Thank you for thank you for the work lurk. I uh, look forward to you checking in. Irish Wake, another flight sim streamer. Um, also does some American truck simming as well. Really cool guy. I hung out in uh, his channel for a while, um, a couple times, and I really enjoyed it. Did you air? Thank you so much for being here. If you're flying along with us, uh, thank you for that. So today's one of those days when I think that you know, the only people we'll see are the people from the community. So anyone I see, I'm going to claim them as ours because I don't think there's a whole lot of people um, flying along. Right, typical? It really is. It really is pretty intense music for what's happening. But sometimes the music ends up just being perfect. Yeah, I know, Iceman. I got to fix that. That uh, That's not the right command for that. So, oh no, someone just crashed. I saw that. So I've got to fix that. Oh, that was fatty. Irish is a better flyer than a, than a driver on an American truck sim. Yeah, it's an, um, you know, when, when, as you, as you get to know more people on Twitch, it becomes harder and harder to spend time on people's channels because you get to know so many people and you only have so much time that you can spend on someone's channel, you know, so, um, it's, it's really hard for me sometimes to, to choose who to spend time, you know, whose channel to spend time in. So I, I kind of rotate that around as much as I can. Yeah, I know, right, Iceman? There's a lot of amazing flight simmers. And it's so hard to choose when I look at the, the people that are live and I try to figure out, you know, who am I going to, whose channel am I going to be on? Who am I going to fly with? Who am I going to hang out with? Tough choice. Tough choice sometimes. Yeah, more every day. Exactly. Exactly. It's growing more and more every day. Which is good. I mean, it's it's a good thing. So I know right now, Shoney Gaming, uh, Shoney's channel is, is just about parallel with mine. 
Jody's a great guy, very interactive, very interactive person. Uh, his community is the same size as my community, and he's streaming right now. So I know that, um, you know, some of the people that are normally in my channel are in his channel. But hopefully when he's done streaming, some of those people come over here. So as you can see out front ahead of us, we have uh, Tailspin. Uh, Eat you air? I can't, I can't see it that close. Uh, Fatty One, Fournier, Rich Chev, King Cobra. I am loving this so far. This, this, I, I didn't fly all of this. I kind of just flew into the valleys. I didn't even pay any attention to the river, but I'm loving this uh, flying the river so far. It's pretty awesome. And I hope y'all are too. I hope I hope everyone's enjoying this. Those of you that can fly and those of you that can't fly along, I hope you're really enjoying the scenery. Creepy Kirk, what's going on? How are you? Oh, dude, thank you so much, Creepy. Thank you, Kirk. I, I appreciate that. Uh, how are you doing today? So yeah, Creepy Kirk is another flight sim streamer. We were just talking about flight sim streamers. Uh, Creepy Kirk is one of the newer ones. Can I touch my wheel? Oh, I was going to touch my wheels on the road. Creepy Kirk is one of the newer flight sim streamers. Does a really good job. His community is growing. He just hit affiliate last week or a couple weeks ago. The community is growing. A very interactive, great guy. You're just about to start. So, uh, typical. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I hope things go well for you, my friend. Good to see you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Are you getting ready for work? No problem. No problem. I uh, I would recommend you call in sick, uh, creepy. But you know, do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fournier is on the ground, taking off. <laughs> the old guilt trip thing. Oh, King Cobra in the PC-6. You considered it? <laughs> so when I was... Uh, oh, Iceman, thank you so much for following Creepy Kirk. Uh, I don't think you'll regret that. Uh, so when I was younger, before before I had uh, before I had Tam the OG, my daughter, uh, of course, I've always been a Nintendo player. Oh, no, Fournier crashed again. Uh, I, I have I have been I mean I had I was really really into the Zelda games oh typical yeah well again I hope uh, I hope everything goes good for you my friend yeah take care of yourself oh hey topple thank you thank you 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 won't regret it uh, very very good guy um I forgot what I was saying sheesh hit the ground hit the ground hit the ground not the water not the water there we go oh well <clears throat> excuse me get my throttle by accident dang it did not mean to bump the throttle there Jim fish what's going on oh you have a car no problem at all my friend jump in whenever you can jump in no problem good to see you though i hope you're doing well so today is probably going to be one of the shortest streams also of this week um i am flying a little slower than what i typically do though so just to stretch it out a little bit but this should be about a five hour stream today But if you're just joining me, thank you so much for jumping in, being here. Uh, if you would like to fly along, we're flying in Southwest, South America, the country of Chile. Uh, it is beautiful because when I think of South America, in my mind, imagine Blondie, what is going on? How are you, my friend? So nice to see you. Very nice to see you. I, I'm, I'm glad. Very nice seeing you. 
I hope you're well today. Oh, I am fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Blondie. Uh, so you're in... Looking forward to Iceland, but you should be back in plenty of time. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um... Hello. Is it me you're lurking for? Creepy Kirk off to work. Thank you for that lurk. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for leaving the stream on while you're gone. I, I truly do appreciate that. Um, so, if you are just joining and you'd like to fly along, fly along with us. Closest airport is what's showing in the upper right-hand corner. Or you can send me a friend request in the sim. I'll accept it and then just jump on in and fly along with us. Um, so, what I was saying about South America. When I think of South America, I think of hot tropics desert food because i love i love um south american food it is a beautiful flight yes it is blondie really really nice and uh my intention wasn't to fly the river to begin with but once i saw it i mean it's it's gorgeous so so i figured why not so i was really shocked as i was spinning the world globe um creating this flight plan i was shocked to see mountains and not only mountains but snow in the mountains oh no jim this is south america sorry this is south america see you're like me you thought the same thing but yeah um it is uh southwest south america So uh, we're flying low and slow today, doing a little bush flying. All week, actually, we're doing bush flights. I'm trying to get my pitch trim adjusted back where it should be after bumping my throttle. I accidentally bumped my throttle control. Like a total noob would do. We're in the hangar. Going to fly along before heading with Mrs. Later on. Oh, Jim, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for jumping in and flying along. We're uh, shaving trees, stirring up water, doing a little fishing. I got a hook hanging off the back of the plane, catching some fish as we go. Nice little touch and go there. Very good, very good stuff. Oh yeah, that was nice. That was sweet. Yeah, so Tomo's doing a little work lurking today also. So now it's going to open up into a um, into a lake. And now we got to change heading. So let me pull up little nav map and show you. So this is where we are. Uh, we need to jump over. We need to jump over uh, this, this area in just a minute to our right. And then we'll head uh, head into this into a valley right here. So just follow along. I'm loosely following my flight plan. Oh, Matt, yeah, it, it really is awesome. It really is, and I love it. The more people that are on here, the happier I am. So today we got King Cobra, we got Corsair, we got Rich Chev, Fatty One, um, Fournier, Mick Rick. Mick Rick, thank you for jumping in also. Um, Blue Jay Crunch has jumped in also, and then Cappy Stick flying along in the H-145 helicopter. So I'm gonna cross over um, right here once I get to this area. I'll cross over because we're gonna fly to the right-hand side of this mountain. And see, here's another anomaly, another peak right here. We'll see some really funky anomalies as we fly along this route today. Yeah, so many friends, it's awesome. It is, it is absolutely awesome. Oh, can do what's happening my friend how are you doing dude uh, let me give oh can do a little shout out here we're doing your kind of flying this week oh can do doing some bush stuff doing some bush stuff thank you for that door knock troll mckaysey with the door knock troll i thought that was a topple thank you for the door knock troll mckaysey Casey in the house that little shout out for oh can do the best mullet the hottest mullet in the land what's up mckaysey hope you're doing well today you gotta be joining Boys. us 
so uh, let me show y'all once we get once we get here we'll fly this river again so yes little nav map has a straight line but we're gonna follow the river okay because we're doing bush flying so let's follow the river once we get there so i'm gonna fly over this mountain and we should see the water again yep more water Oh, nothing just downloading 67,000 liveries because everyone in your community decided to get custom <laughs> yep yep I know I know what you mean hope you're doing well oh okay, can do so you ain't working today if you'd like to fly along fly along with us if you can't I understand that goes for anybody anybody is welcome to join in Oh, good, McKaysey. Thank you for jumping in, dude. You just got off work, so uh, you've worked. Wait a minute. You were working yesterday when I streamed. Was that a 24-hour shift? There's McCrick in a 135. Nice. I didn't realize you were in the 135, McCrick. Oh, sweet. Good deal, dude. You going to check out, check out your new headquarters in Sim, then you'll come? 24 hours every time. Okay, gotcha. I was thinking that because I'm pretty sure that's what our fire department here does as well. And I'm, I'm sure that's, you know, pretty much standard for fire departments is 24 hours. <laughs> Thank you for that fart. All right, so I am going to stay over the water. There is a, there's a little channel. There's a little channel that I'm going to fly into um, right around the bend here. There's a little channel right in here that I'll fly into. Jim has just loaded in. Welcome, Jim. Thank you for loading in. Uh, beautiful scenery here, y'all. And we're going to continue this bush flying here in uh, South America. I am really loving this. I'm pretty proud of this flight plan. I came up with this on my own like mondays was uh, irish wakes flight plan yesterday yesterday was my flight plan but it wasn't eh, it was it was just kind of it was okay yesterday's flight plan was okay but today i'm pretty proud of this and hopefully tomorrow's i'll be proud of too as we go to new zealand tomorrow will be new zealand <laughs> hey topple thank you for that flute oh is that where i am so rock rock lives in, in this area uh, north north of here um so kind of giving us some uh, information about the area as we fly along which is pretty darn awesome right tomos yes so i picked a path kind of winding through the mountains is what i did for tomorrow and I'm really, really looking forward to tomorrow uh, and Friday, which I've looked forward to every day this week as we make a difference in the world, as we build the Scruffy Tam community, uh, meet new friends, fly beautiful places. And uh, but most especially, seriously, y'all, I'm so awesome. I'm just blown away at the support given to Heart Support so far this week. So Heart Support is a uh, mental health charity. Uh, or nonprofit. I don't really like the word charity. I like the word. Um, I like the word nonprofit. I'm on PC, a eh, topple. I am on PC. So we're um, raising money for them. They're a great, great, great group of people. They have their own Twitch channel. They've got a Discord. They've got a website. They have YouTube to help people out. So whatever's you know wherever you're at in life if things are going great for you awesome but i know for a fact there are people in my channel that are going through stuff right now and if they are i know more people are that aren't saying things so um if you need help seek it yes yeah, speak up exactly oh can do thank you so much and you don't have to you do not have to post it in chat i'm not saying you know put your, put all your business out here for everybody to see no that's not what i'm saying and, and 
uh, you know, I, I'm saying seek help. You are not, you're, you, I don't want you to go through anything alone. It's not good for you to go through stuff alone. There's people out there that can help. And if you have people in real life you can go to that will give you good support, good for you. But there's a lot of people that are alone. Um, or they feel alone. A lot of people that feel alone. Whoa. And just know that you're not. I should get the F-18 Super Warrior mod from Flight Sim Dots. Oh, I, I will definitely look into that. So yesterday I got the uh, MB, what was it? The uh, MB339 yesterday. And I also, last night I downloaded DCS as well. I know that um, some of the formation fly-in teams fly on DCS. Um, the shadow display team flies DCS. <laughs> oh, can do, they're, they're coming. Bush landings are, are coming along okay. I'm still still flipping the plane now and then, but I'm understanding it more. And also, if you can, if you can, and you want to, um, Please give to Heart Support. They're they're an amazing charity. Um, we we just absolutely destroyed the goal I had set for the week, Monday. We hit that goal and surpassed it Monday. I didn't know what to set as a goal. It was seven hundred and fifty dollars. We surpassed that then, so I did move it up. I'm not trying to change the finish. I'm not trying to move the finish line for y'all. I'm just trying to gauge you know what what we can do for Heart Support. And so if we don't hit fifteen hundred dollars, that's fine. They are appreciative of what we've done so far. Oh no, I just saw someone, saw someone hit the water. Oh, that's the one. Oh dude, a topple, I gotta do it. So weather settings, McCrick, I've got my weather set at, um, let's see here, I'll show you. Well, I've got it set at really high clouds and um, I put just a little bit of snow in, just a touch of snow. Because when we were on live weather, all of this was frozen and I wanted to see the water. So I put in just a little bit of snow and rolled back the uh, the clouds. I probably need to put in some, some clouds though. Did they get the Blue Angels livery? It's nice. That would be awesome. So I do have liveries for a couple of the formation fly-in teams now. Um, I'm not going to fly them on stream, though, just because that, that I'm not a part of them. But I've got their liveries, you know, so that I can see whenever they're flying along with me. Snow on the ground, sun in the sky, ice everywhere, right? Yeah, I am going to change them. Let me go ahead and change um, to a little bit more clouds. I got high level clouds on. Let's go broken. Oh, that's nice. We'll go broken clouds. That's beautiful. Wow. Wow. Oh, but I, I got to put the snow back in. It just, it just, it, it got rid of the snow. Sheesh. There. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hey, top of BRB, no problem. So now there's a uh, inlet. We'll be flying into a river very soon. There's an inlet right up ahead. Um, there's actually two inlets. One goes hard to, well, they, they, they both go straight to begin with. One takes a hard left and right off the bat. So we'll take the right side inlet. There's two. Um, one to the left, one to the right. We'll take the right side. We'll follow that river. V1 Rotate, V2 Simmer. Dude, I love that username. That's an awesome, awesome. I love your username, V1 Rotate, V2 Simmer. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. I'm Scruffy Tam. I've been gaming for a long time. Been flight simming since September. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're well. DC Viper, what is going on? Dude, it is an amazing place for sure. Heavy, uh, 
Quark 1437 mode, Charlie, push that up through. Alright, uh, So here's a little shout out for DC Viper. And then we're 5381 and make a left, next left. Hey, hello, hello from South Carolina in the United Echo, States. Bravo, Echo on my four left three. Thank you for that follow, V1, and thank you for that first time chat. Also, welcome. Very nice to have you here from Germany. Uh, I've got some, I've got several German friends. Tomo's World is a streamer from Germany who's a streamer friend of mine and happens to be here work lurking. But welcome, are you a streamer, V1? And of course, I can tell that you are a flight simmer. So if you can, if you can fly along with us, Feel free to jump in and fly along. We've got a lot of people flying with us. I've got Fatty One, Fornier, Rich Chev, Jim, C-172, uh, Jack of Thy, someone else I can't quite see over there. Uh, then behind, Cappy Stick, Mikrick, King Cobra, Corsair, Crunch, and someone just flew by me as I was giving those introductions. And McKaysey and uh, Ichigo Air got a lot of people flying along i love the more people that are in here the happier i am and the just i get so excited it fills me with energy so uh yeah jump on in and fly along if you can so we are in south america uh southwestern south america the country of chile and the server is u.s east the closest airport is what you see up there in the upper right hand corner jack of thy thank you for jumping in and flying along also got some new friends flying got some long time friends flying today also doing bush flights fornier has landed ah oh, camp it out it looks like you got your tent it was that your tent out or was that um you don't stream you prefer to watch dude i understand 100 so whatever you're happy doing that's what i want you to do um cappy stick i bet it's beautiful in the helicopter and uh who else was someone else was in the heli as well I bet it's beautiful in the helicopter. So now we're going to fly this river as we fly into another mountain valley. Yeah. Need to get back into the cockpit. Yeah, DC Viper. Um, I, I uh, didn't talk much about Viper when uh, your shout out was on, but um, DC Viper is another flight sim streamer very very knowledgeable person i mean in, in viper is always in my channel always in chat and uh man is full of information very knowledgeable person so uh, go give go give him a follow loose formation for today cappy stick dude yes uh w whatever you want to do and it's gonna it would be tough anyways because of all the uh the curves and stuff that we're doing so yeah go give viper a follow I am so glad to have met, you know, each and every one of you, I'm very glad to have met, but I'm very glad to have met DC Viper because of uh, all the knowledge he has about a lot of things. Yes, no rules, just flight. There you go. Oh, and also for those of y'all that weren't here yesterday, I do have a new emote now. I got a new emote I'm super excited about. It. I have not seen an emote like this before. It's a rotating beacon. I've not seen another person have this. Yeah, there you go, Wesley. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. Uh, we posted it in someone's channel yesterday and they said, wow, that's awesome. I think it was Tomos actually. Tomos saw it and, uh, and, and made mention of it. It's It's pretty cool really really like it and so uh, art hunter vera is who i commissioned for my artwork and she did a phenomenal job ctv what is going on fly low yes dude i am i am flying low what's going on how are you ttv really nice to see you this morning um if you can and you would like to fly along with us please feel free to fly along it was tomos nice tomos world is a really good friend of mine um on stream, off stream.
we used to uh, we used to discord message a lot but um i've i've gotten super busy and uh tomos is busy also we i got i gotta send you a dm sometimes tomos just just for old time's sake So we'll be flying into um, uh, Mountain Valley very soon. Just following along, following this river, this meandering river. I'm gonna lean back and enjoy the flight. Nice chill music. Uh, so TTV, are you a streamer? Or are you just a flight simmer or, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for that first time chat. Also, by the way, man, this music, I could probably sleep to this music. Really chill and relaxing. So this is the pain river, the pain river. Since starting flight simming, you're gonna need a bigger desk with all the peripherals. Yes, Wesley, I, yes, I know what you mean. I 100% uh, I understand. Oh, and McCrick is also in the 135. Uh, McCrick, I bet it's pretty cool to be able to fly those tight places like that in the helicopter. Unlike me, I can't get quite that low because I'll crash into the trees. It's painfully cold to swim in. Yeah, yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, that's why it's called the Pain River. Uh, just it, it slid right over my bald head to begin with what you were saying there. Yeah, all the peripherals, uh, they get expensive. They get expensive to say the least, but um, oh my gosh, I absolutely love, I love flight simming. You gotta get, new, yeah, and I love, I love the way you have things set up, Viper. I'm pretty sure that was you that posted that in my, um, in my Discord, how you have things set up. I probably need to do something similar because right now I just have my hotels sitting over, uh, sitting over here <laughs> just sitting there I need to be more organized man this is nice and I'm glad I put the snow in just enough snow, you know, to kind of cover some things, but you still see some green peeking out as well. Uh oh, don't stall, don't stall. Oh, is it really summer down there? Well, um, actually, but in live weather, Viper, when I put live weather on, it, 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 it was even more snow than this, which I know it's not always accurate, but yeah, when I put live weather on, the, uh, the rivers were frozen and it was uh, covered in snow. Everything was. Yeah, and that's why I rolled it back. That's why I actually put just a little bit of snow in. Because it was so much snow to begin with. You couldn't enjoy the scenery. Uh, 
yeah that's probably what it is because we're up in the higher elevations although well we're really not in the higher elevations though we're only at a uh, 500 feet above sea level yeah 600 feet above sea level now that i've adjusted my altimeter oh wow it's snowing now yeah it's kind of cool well no it's not never mind i take that back it's 57 degrees outside y'all i haven't been outside much this week because i've been streaming so much i haven't been outside oh it's 69 in santiago okay so maybe maybe live weather is wrong then but yeah when i put live weather on it was totally snow covered it does look very nice it looks beautiful and at first i had very few clouds i just had really really high level clouds um but i kind of like i kind of like it being a little overcast it, it adds to the uh adds to the atmosphere so i'm trying to take a peek over at little nav map but i don't there we go a little nav map automatically um scrolled out for me thank you little nav map i love you live weather and snow doesn't seem to match from what you've seen but it's nice to have a bit of snow on this flight it really is it makes it it, it gives it a little a little more scenery makes it makes it a little more scenic <laughs> wesley it's it's amazing how we get so i mean because it feels like we're outside right now i mean i'm more outside right now than i have been pretty much this week uh, of course i'm just outside in the sim but yeah now this music suits good music for what we're doing here yeah Ichigo it is it is good music and Ichigo th by the way thank you so much for flying along as well I'm glad you uh I'm glad you jumped in and flew along no rules just flight it's what we do here yeah, that's why I turned the music up a little bit, too, because it's, it's... Oh, you're very welcome, Ichigo. It's what I do. I love doing, uh, I love doing group flights, so uh, you're very welcome. Thank you for jumping along, flying with us. Hey, what's going on? That's all for you, Mackenzie? No problem at all. I knew you said you couldn't fly along. Thank you for what you could fly and what you did fly. Take care of yourself. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, Katie's, how are you doing, Katie's? Good to see you. I am fantastic. Uh, you mentioned how knowing how mountainous chili was. You just started your legs in California last night. And you knew there's some mountains there. Oh yeah, yeah. So I flew, um, I flew the entire coast of California as a uh, coast to coast us tour when i first started st streaming flight sim and it's i was really amazed at how mountainous it was and it's beautiful the world the world that we live in is so beautiful but sometimes we get so stuck in where we live and we get so familiar with where we live that we forget this i mean look at this it's it's mind-blowing it's mind-blowing with the mountains in the background the beautiful bluish green water the the snow scattered about i mean ah, oh, it's gorgeous yeah so so many times we get just kind of stuck in where we live and i hate where i live and i don't you know i wish i lived somewhere else you know, in, you know, it's not always feasible to just pack up and move to a different country or a different state or a different town. 
but it's another thing it's one of the it's another thing that we all love about flight simming is we can go and we can visit these places that we may not ever see in real life oh yeah i love living where i do viper i would not i mean are there other places that i would like to live yes but in reality in reality i love where i live what is going on right here we got a uh, we got a jetliner tour given uh passenger tours of <laughs> of this area king cobra what is that that you're flying is that is that actually what it is oh it's the pc6 gotcha that is not what it is oh you're back now nice where you live on the east coast is kind of flat with some hills and you forgot other places don't look the same white right wesley yep Uh, my chair yeah generic model fell for sure for sure so looking at the water you would think that we were you know somewhere in costa rica or somewhere right off uh right off the gulf coast or something as beautiful as this water is oh that's the yunker got you thank you ichigo that's pretty funny that it loads it in as a as a passenger airliner oh for the love i understand but you'll do fine you'll do fine man you'll do good um what was what was hard when I was watching your YouTube video, I, I couldn't have done it. I could not have done it because that guy, I couldn't understand what he was saying. He had a horrendous accent, really, really bad accent. And I had a hard time understanding what he was saying. So yeah, I mean, you left Amsterdam and the two accents threw you off. Yeah, I mean, it was, those were very, very heavy, very heavy accents. And so, uh, for the love has done VAT sim before, actually as a child, but it was text VAT sim. So listening to, um, listening to his stream on YouTube, I think you streamed it on Twitch, right? And then you posted it on YouTube as well, but I watched it on YouTube and, um, wow, the controllers that you had it was really, really difficult for me to understand what they were saying. And so there was a little bit of miscommunication issues going on. Oh, you just recorded it yesterday. Got you. Okay. All right. I thought you, uh, I thought you streamed it and then, then posted it. Writes everything down, but he, dude, Viper, it, it was hard to, and he was writing down, but it, it was just, it, the the words were almost incomprehensible i mean it was extremely difficult to understand what they were saying oh pain lake nice yeah actually on my on little nav map it has lago pain so yeah that would be pain lake translation pain lake sweet and look at this anomaly we got a black hole got a black hole in the middle <laughs> in the middle of this that's pretty funny how it didn't load it all the way in oh and he did viper he asked him several several times and then finally just said can you can you text it to me can you text me the the you know what the um directions yeah, I think it was a hole in the DEM data is what it was because it, it was such a, um, th the way it was the blocked off. Oh yeah, London Controller's the dude. He, he's been in here before. Uh, look, Jamie, he is awesome. Super clear, very cool dude. He has so high energy. I, uh, I hang out in his stream some. He streams really early in the morning for me. So sometimes when I get to work, if, if uh, Shoney isn't on, 
then I'll jump in uh, Jamie's stream and hang out. And he has been on mine before, just mind blowing that he would even know who I was. But yeah, he jumped in here before. Great guy. Oh, Wesley, and yeah, I mean, like he is, he is on it. He is on it to be as young as he is. He's the, he is very, very successful on Twitch and as a controller. I don't know if y'all saw that. That whole area right there was a big anomaly. There's a lot of, there's a lot of areas here that, that have with anomalies, a lot of them. Yeah, that was pretty tough. That was pretty tough for the love. Uh, but you did a you did a really really good job um, handling that. Oh no, Jack! Really? Um, hopefully, I'll load back in. I, I hear that from people from time to time that they have a hard time. You know that they can't see me, but they see others. Y'all check out this anomaly up here too. It looks like a really tall spire in the distance. Really tall spire back there. I don't know if we're heading that way or not, but that looks interesting. Did you go? You gotta go? Oh, no problem at all. I'll be back tomorrow. Oh no, Jim crashed. We've got all kinds of people falling out. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, Ichigo, if you'd like to fly along. Um, 8 a.m. Eastern, same time, same exact time, and we'll be in New Zealand tomorrow. I don't believe that there's a cliff right here. There might be, but, but that's kind of hard to believe that there's a cliff and then the the river and then those woods. I could be wrong though. So right here, I'm gonna bank to the right. MPI, what is going on? How are you doing, my friend? Really nice to see you. We are in Southwestern South America. We're in Chile, the country of Chile. Um, so MPI, whenever I think of South America, I think hot, tropical, desert, and when I was planning this flight plan, when I, I, I jumped in flight sim in Chile and I looked and I was like, wait a minute, snow, cold, frozen water, what? So uh, yeah, that's where we are today. We are in Chile, South America. And I have probably seen more um, anomalies with the scenery here than I've seen anywhere else in my um, time flying flight sim. There's all kinds of crazy, I mean, all kinds of weird anomalies. Yeah, MPI, I mean, exactly. I thought I thought that that's what we would see is, I mean, I, I figured there would be mountains, but I thought it would be hot, desert. But yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure why it has more. It, it probably has to do with the um, with the geography of the area because there's a um, there's a lot of water and mountains. So so the 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 geography here is is at, or geo geology is it geology or geography? Whatever it is here is is pretty crazy. I mean it, it's like, it's like water and then it's small mountains and it's tall mountains and it's water again and it's channels and valleys. So it's probably hard to load all that in i think i've yeah see i've hashtag 22 too because i only have one person that i see right now okay two people and i know there's more than two people flying along so you're not the only one having problems geography thank you i said it right i wasn't so what is geology Geography is this, geology is six inch resolution, yeah, from LiDAR flights, exactly. Oh, geology, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, appreciate that. That's right. <laughs> Viper, just stop, stop mid-sentence. Yeah, thank you. 
yeah frankie stein what is going on it's beautiful um i i, I was blown away blown away when i was looking for somewhere in the world to, to fly today for today's flight plan and when i looked at south america i'm thinking like i said just a minute ago i'm thinking you know uh yeah right log cabin it's a holiday uh, yeah log cabin in the top of the mountain i'm doing fantastic thank you you're on the east side of us okay but still i don't i don't see anybody typically you still see some name tags sticking up but the only person i see is cappy stick and uh corsair and that's it and i know there are more people flying along than just two So I'm gonna uh, bring the altitude down just a little bit more. We're gonna come into a, um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, so we're, still, we're, we're kind of in a wide channel still. I don't see, I don't see any rivers for the, for the next little while. So kind of a wide channel. Um, looking ahead though, looking ahead. I'm trying to find some rivers we can follow as we travel from one place to the next. You're heading my way? No problem. Thank you for that. Yeah, we got a little hashtag 22 going on, Tomos. So the flight plan, of course, is just a straight line. But what I want to do, Moggy Pot, what's going on? What I want to do is like when we get to these areas, we'll fly this little short river um, right up here. Right up here, I may fly, instead of going, following the yellow line, we may fly up this way and catch the river right here and then follow the river all the way and then grab the yellow, you know, then we'll follow this river all the way to here. So let's do that. I'm gonna change a little nav map just to keep me straight there. That way I'm, I'm straight with what I'm doing. And I'm about to fly right into the side of a mountain. There we go. Look out for that tree. So yeah, here's an anomaly. Look at this. We have uh, we have river, river. We have water flowing up or flowing down. Either way, it's a water slope. We got a water slope right here. Oh, sorry about that. There, sorry. Yeah, water slope right there on the left. I guess that's so you can load in your boats, a little water ramp. Sorry guys. Post that link again to the flight plan. You gotta get it from the chat, but you were lurking in the laptop. Oh, of course, yes. All you have to do is um, exclamation route. You got it, okay, cool, good deal. Argentina? Oh, hi. Oh, Vera, what's going on? Art Hunter, Art Hunter Vera. Art Hunter Vera is, is who does all my artwork for me, except the follower emotes. She has done everything else. Yes, they are on Discord as well. Yep. Um, oh, gosh. For the love, a long time. A long time. Probably four hours. But yeah, I've got them on Discord. I've got them on the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim Forum events calendar. Uh, if you, you type in exclamation route, it'll take them take you there also. There you go. Oh, is it giving you an error? Or is that the... Uh, okay, does that take you there? You are getting an error. That's strange that you're getting an error. Sorry about that, Iceman. Um, I wonder why that is. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that, Rock Rock. Um, oh, I'm in the Argentinian lake. Gotcha. 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 Thank you, Rock Rock, for that clarification. So now it looks like we got a little bit of ice as well floating down this river. <laughs> I 
All right, so now I'm gonna take this little channel right here. This little channel right here, excuse me. This little channel right here will take us over to the next area. There's some areas that I just, you know, we have to climb a little bit. And this is one of them. There you go. There you go, Iceman. That'll, that'll, that's the correct one. I don't know why the other one's giving you an error. Sorry about that. And we're back over the water again. So now we'll fly over to the left. Excuse me, as I correct myself. We'll fly over to the left. Yes, we'll be over snow. We'll be over land for a little bit, but we're heading to a river that we can follow for the next little while. So if you're just joining and you'd like to fly along, you're still getting the same error. Crap. Um, I don't understand why, because that link should not expire. Um, Iceman, try my Discord link. Try my Discord link. I'm going to my Discord and I've got a um, spring break. Sorry about that, y'all. Is anyone else having problems trying to get the flight plans? Oh, no. I almost crashed. It says unable to download files. Okay, so Rick Brick, ah, dang it. Okay. I tell you what, let me um let me go ahead and land right here really quick. Um, give me just a second. And I'll fix that error. I think I know what's going on. So if y'all want to land right here really quick. Oh, that was a nice landing. Very nice landing. Sheesh. Let me jump into my server and fix that really quick. Cause that actually goes to a server in that's in my living room. Uh, and maybe my share link, I may have created a new share link by accident that overwrote the first one. So let me, um, give me just a second. Dropping the base. Thank you for dropping that base. Appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna share the flight plan. Copy the link, save it. All right, now let me uh, post it to my bot really quick. Man's route. Paste it and now try the uh, try the exclamation route again and look at that and see if that works for you. That should do it. If it doesn't, then me and my router need to have a talk. Frankie Stein, thank you for dropping that base. I landed three times. I did, but uh, but I was not planning on landing to begin with. It was only until I intentionally. <laughs> I'm just making an excuse. So hopefully that works for everybody. Sorry about that. Now this is the flight plan. If you want to download it, this is where you need to go. Uh, let me know if it works. Hopefully it does. Rat hole, thank you for the Discord shout out. So before I take back off, let me just make sure that that link does work that, so y'all can download it. Okay, cool. Very good. So that does work. Awesome. Sorry for that. Made a little mistake there. All right, y'all. So let's... Okay, cool deal. Good deal. Good deal. So y'all can download that into Flight Sim. And that way you can kind of, kind of roughly follow the flight plan. Now, of course, um, we're gonna make some we're gonna make some stops elsewhere, but that gives you an idea of what we're gonna be doing. You know, the magenta line that you can somewhat follow. So let's get back in the air. What is what? Why did it do that? Okay. There we go. Glad I was able to pull that off. Sheesh, that was rough. No, no problem at all. Um, am I landing in SCPY? Yes, if it shows on, let's see here. You know what, I don't have, 
if it shows in the flight plan as a stop then yes yeah it was a nice save thank you if it shows in the flight plan as as an airport like that we're going to be going to then yes there's very very few airports here uh but yeah muet muet welcome welcome to the channel this morning also all right let me get back on track get low again Oh, there's a uh, national park called Bernardo, Bernardo O'Higgins. That's pretty cool. And very appropriate music while we're talking about O'Higgins. Right? All the equipment's listening to us today. We're talking about O'Higgins and then Irish music comes on. I talk about, you know, too much snow and the sim changes that for us oh rick break i should see you now a oh, rick yeah so everyone's loaded back in now yep i see everybody now hashtag 22 is done so we got rich we got fornier we got mick crick mogpot jack of thy cappy stick all flying along with us and then over there we got crunch probably got some more people over there on the other side of the mountain too um i am oh you were way far east yeah, I'm sorry about that. Did I manage to check out that REX airport textures? Ah, oh, dang it. You know what? I did not. I think I looked at it, but I didn't do anything with it for the love. I need to revisit that. If you could, uh, for the love, if you could post it in my Discord or DM it to me or something like that. Hey, Gare Bear, what's up? Lurking and working again? in the office so no lunch break flying no problem at all i understand no worries no worries oh so hashtag 22 is whenever whenever the the user name tags goes away that was number 22 on the list of things that um that microsoft flight sim developers were working to fix it was the number 22 thing on the list and so that's where that came from the hashtag 22 name came from that being number 22 on the list of things that they were going to address. And thank you for that, for the love. I appreciate that. So we're going to fly in right here, this little channel right here. And uh, there should be a river. I might need to scale back the snow a little bit too so we can actually see water. But we'll see. Yeah, so I don't know who coined the phrase. I think it might have been uh, Two-Tone Murphy was the first one to use that phrase. But they caught on very quickly in the flight sim community. Yeah, I think it was two-tone as well. There we go. I don't want to break my plane, so I'm not going to... There we go. Change planes, taking a shortcut, no problem. So there's a lot of Italian immigrants in Chile. Nice. I didn't realize that. Yeah, speaking of the Irish, more music. Oh, speaking of two-tone, yeah, sorry. I, I just... One of those uh, old-time moments there. you know according to little nav map it looks like there was a river right here but it looks like there's not a whole lot of water maybe not even a river so we'll just fly uh well i'm gonna bring it on down and we'll fly over this lake which is part of the flight plane anyways But in the south of Chile exists a lot of places called like Williamsport, Dawson Island, Wickham Island, Dock of York Island. Oh, wow. That's pretty wild because I would I would not have thought I would have thought it would be been more. Um, 
um i, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought that they would be you know names like that more latin names is i guess there we go that's that's what i was looking for was latin all right so i'm checking out little nav map just to see okay so again the beauty of doing bush flying is yes i have a flight plan but we can deviate from that flight plan right so what i'm gonna do is coming up ahead let me let me pull the map up again and show y'all coming up ahead we've got we've got this uh area right here and i was gonna fly around to the right of it but i think we'll stay over the water and we'll fly over to the left of it and then come back around so we'll do kind of like something like this there so do a little something like that i'm gonna go ahead and save that there we go so we'll fly around to the left of it we'll just stay over the water instead of you know going over land again because I'm, I'm really enjoying this of course fly you know where you want to fly fly how you want to fly it's the the beauty of my flights is you do what you want to do i have a flight plan but you explore wherever you want to explore do it because i'm going to do the same as you can just witness so someone asked about airports so we will stop at scoh at um sierra charlie oscar hotel we will stop there and then the final airport i think is yes sierra charlie charlie romeo is the final airport from today but we got a long ways to go plenty of time plenty of time i need to bring my trim up just a little bit so if you do want to fly along jump on in and fly along with us uh no rules just flight is my motto here my slogan my motto whatever you want to call it fly what you want to fly how you want to is my thing um this week typically at this time on a wednesday i would be at my job teaching but this week i'm on spring break so i decided to spend the time with the community uh checking out some beautiful areas of our world and making a difference in our world by giving back to an to an awesome nonprofit. um heart support is what we're all about this week exclamation hs will get you the link to tell all about what heart support is um, if you need help with anything that's that's bothering you, they're there for you. I'm here for you. I'm not a counselor, but I can listen. I can point you in the right direction of where help is at. And I have had people off stream confide in me with things as well in the past. So I have a real heart for people. And I, I, know, and I wanted to give back. There you go, Viper. Thank you for that. And we've talked uh, several times this week about different, you know, things that we have been through or, or different things that, that others in the community, you know, y'all have talked about things that you've been through. I've talked about what I've been through. Please, please find somebody they can help you through whatever you're going through it's been a really really amazing week of being able to talk about things that used to not be able to be talked about oh chino uh so my students are um so i teach at a community college i teach automotive technology at a community college and so my students range anywhere from high school age because we do have a, dru a dual enrollment program where students that are um i think he i think our juniors and seniors can come and get credits towards um college so i have um 17 18 year olds all the way up to people older than me even but most of them are just out of high school 
So, you know, 18, 19, something like that. Oh, dude, MPI, thank you so much. It's, uh, you know, the, the support that you guys have given is awesome. I mean, it's it's been really, really cool, MPI. I appreciate it. And uh, this is this is what I have always done since September of 2020. I, I'm just, I, I mean, everybody's welcome. We talk about things. Um, it's been really, really cool. And I'm so thankful that to, to have been discovered, um, to, to have discovered flight simming and then to have been discovered and, and see my channel growing like it's growing has just been, it's been phenomenal. But thank you. Yes, yes, MPI. And so I, I've said this multiple times and I'll say it, I'll say it many, many more times. There's really two main reasons why I wanted to start streaming from the very start. One was I, I play video games all the time anyways. And so I'll tell my wife, look, if I'm gonna play video games, she's not really, she's not into gaming. I can't say she's not really into it. She's not into gaming. So I said, why not? why not um stream it and then i can play with people that that love what i love and so that's the first reason the second reason is i have a real real passion for people i love people and um i really enjoy life and i enjoy living and i want others to experience it the way i experience it as well and that's that's why i'm here uh let's see here <laughs> right so she's off work today she's just down the hall uh she she actually has a one of the a rare weekday off and I, I just heard her down the hall um so she is off work and so that's one of the reasons why today is going to be a little bit shorter stream so i can spend the afternoon with her um what do i teach so i teach automotive technology i teach students how to diagnose and repair vehicles is what i do uh, for 14 years, I was a mechanic. I worked on vehicles. I worked at a Chevrolet Mazda dealership for seven years. Oh, Rick, you're going to head out? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for flying along, Rick. Uh, be, you feel free to come on in anytime I'm streaming or even if I'm not streaming. If I'm, if I'm just flying along off stream and you see me, if you want to spawn it in and fly along, do it. Everyone's always welcome to fly along with me. Thank you, Decimus. What is going on? How are you, my friend? y'all um l let me just um and i'll talk chino i'll talk more about my uh, uh more about my career in just a minute i want to talk about dinky decimus for a minute so let, let me let this let me let this this shout out play and i want to talk about dinky Seen better times have been holding on. Dude, I'm doing fantastic, Dakey. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so Dakey Desmus is, as you can tell, a flight sim streamer. Dakey did an around the world tour in just seven days. And I'm not I'm not talking seven days throughout, you know, stretched out. I'm talking seven days in a row. Seven days in a row. Um Dakey flew a DC-6 with two cats around the entire world in seven days. Amazing stuff. But what's really amazing about Dakey Desmus, and when we talk about the struggles of life and, and things we're dealt with in life, Dakey is, Dakey is a mute and he doesn't mind. I know, I know Dakey doesn't mind me saying that. Dakey's a mute, which is a real challenge as a streamer. But let me tell you, Dakey is as good a streamer as any streamer I've ever seen. And, and you talk about engaging how, how Dakey streams and engages with chat. Like he does typing is amazing. Is absolutely amazing. Dakey's an amazing, amazing person. And, uh, I, you're, you're such an inspiration to me, Dakey. I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. So if you don't follow Dakey Desmus, go give Dakey a follow. Jump in there when he's streaming. He's a great guy. Viper, whenever we talk about Scruffy teaching auto tech, you think of the guy who's an auto mechanic trying to get a Cessna 401 running. Yeah, so I've got to watch some of that. You're very welcome, Dakey. And, and I mean that. Every time I see you in someone else's channel or you streaming, I just think, you know, I think... 
there are times that I just don't want to do something or I feel like I can't do it. And then I think I think of Daiki and I'm like, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can do it. So, um, let's see here. We were talking about my career. Yeah, so I spent 14 years uh, as an auto mechanic, seven of those at a Chevrolet Mazda dealership. And then I left after seven years and went to work at a um, Chevrolet Cadillac, Pontiac, GMC, all the General Motors stuff dealership as a mechanic. Oh, Jim, you're heading out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for flying along. Always good to have you. Have a wonderful afternoon with the missus. That's what I'll be doing in just a little bit. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope I see you soon, Jim. Thank you. So then after seven years at, uh, at the first dealership, I went to work for the second dealership for seven years. And then the first dealership called me back to manage their shop. And so I went back to the first dealership I ever worked at and I was service manager for 14 years. And that's where I really blossomed. I really grew to love people to love very comfortable talking in front of people out in the open talking in general because I used to be super, super shy. Uh, Dakey, I am sorry you're in a tough spot. I, 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 I hate that. Um, because I really, really enjoy your stream. So, uh, if you want to talk about it off stream, uh, Dakey, just, just DM me, you know, you know how to get me. Uh, but this week we are supporting, we're supporting a, uh, a nonprofit that's an amazing nonprofit. They're all about helping others. They're all about helping others with whatever you're going through. Dakey, this, 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 this may be something you want to do. Um, if you want to check out heart support, that's what they're there for is people that are, that are struggling with things that you just don't know where to turn. Um, they're there for you. So if, uh, if somebody can type in exclamation HS, please. Get the Fox sports music, right? It is. Sounds like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. DC Viper. So, uh, yeah. We, uh, we all go through tough things in life and there's nothing like going through something and feeling like you're all alone in going through it. And that, that is how it feels when you're going through those things. You feel like you're going through them alone, but, but, uh, that somebody out there has been through it. Yeah, the main thing is just finding someone to talk to about it. I've, I've been, I've been there. I've been at that point before. I'm going to get back low again. I just realized I'm creeping up. I'm at 1,600 feet. I did not mean to be this high. I want to be flying. I want to be flying low. Oh, thank you, Chino. I appreciate that. I really, really, I love teaching. I love what I do. Um, I had the opportunity to do it in the 1990s and wish I'd have taken it because I could be retired by now. But anyways, I really, really love what I do. And I try to have just as much fun as I'm having now. Um, I try to have that kind of fun with the students as well. They know I stream. They know I'm a streamer. Uh, but very few of them, surprisingly, very few of my current students even knew what Twitch was. Because I heard about Twitch through my students a couple years ago. All right, I'm just going to dive down and get low. Like I said, I was creeping up. I didn't realize I was creeping up that high as we were talking or as I was talking. Oh, nice, Dakey. Good deal. Boot it up. And hey, if you can fly along, Dakey, 
um do it if you can i totally understand but if you do if you can fly along and you do want to you know you know you just jump on in and fly with us uh chino there was one student a while back that did um there's another student that actually streams every now and then uh but he he said it's it's hard for him to stream and it's and it's tough when you first start streaming it's really tough because you're you're basically talking to yourself nobody knows you um you're basically talking to yourself and it's really really difficult and, and so he's really discouraged with the streaming journey because he said you know when i stream no one's on there i'm just basically playing and talking to nobody and, and look i've been there all of us any anybody who streams we all start out with zero follows and zero viewers and that's what i tell him but uh no the, that's a really long answer to say no i had once one a long time ago oh no problem Danky. no problem at all just throwing that out there if you wanted to So I do, uh, Chino, on the panels below, like if you scroll, if you scroll up or down, whatever you want to call it, and look at the panels where it has about me, I do have a panel specifically for my students just in case a student comes in uh, because I don't want, so um, I try to be as, as open and transparent, I guess is the, is the word I'm looking for, as possible. So I don't want a student coming in and donating a bunch of bits or subs or whatever and then another student seeing that and you know me getting in trouble or someone saying something because um they think that you know i'm favoring one student over another because they've donated or whatever yes exactly dakey exactly yeah so just like what dakey said uh, he streamed for i didn't realize you had streamed for four years streamed for four years as a mute with zero to one viewer per month so you started with flight sim streams and then the zara the zara world record so flight sim is, is it's just amazing the community the support is is incredible yeah exactly viper and, and i feel like that's what it is because that's when that's when when my stream started turning around too i have gained 700 about 700 followers since december or since november i guess november and december something like that through through flight sim community it's it's amazing the support And I think that's exactly it. It's just how tight knit the flight sim community is. I mean, we all know each other for the most part. All the flight simmers know each other and the community is fairly small. I'm glad to see it growing though. I'm glad to see more people flight simming because the more people that flight sim, the more viewers, uh, the, the more people are focused on flight simming, I guess I should say. And so the community will start growing as people learn about it. Oh gosh, yes. You'll you'll get buried. You'll get buried starting up with Call of Duty or something. So I started out with um I started with Nintendo stuff. Animal Crossing, um trying to think of uh some of the some of the ones one of them was called Inside. There's the sequel to Inside that I played, or maybe the prequel to Inside that I played. Um, Ori, the Ori games, Hollow Knight, Animal Crossing. And yes, my channel was growing with those. I got up to an average of 15 viewers in May of last year. I was at an average of 15 viewers per stream. And then everything fell apart <laughs> for me in real life. Uh, my computer crashed on me. Uh, it shorted out. I had a, I struggled with the computer. Um, I had a family member that was struggling with thoughts of, um, of suicide. So there was a, a lot of things happened for me and then my stream died. Yeah, Jackbox, I did a ton of Jackbox, exactly. Um, Dom the Dev was one of my view, one of my very faithful people back then. Viper Strike, what's going on? How are you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Brother. 
Yeah, right, NPI. Yeah, what NPI said is exactly right. Yeah, two nits and you'll get buried. Yep. No one's looking for it because they're, they're already there. The people are established. Yeah, Wesley, it is. Um, decided to do a simple stream setup last night for your leg. And yeah, it was odd talking to yourself on the plus side. I hope someone might pop in. Dude, it, 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 it is tough. It is tough to start with. Um, no, well, I got a. Oh, shoot. Never mind. I thought that was a couple further. Oh, shoot. Dang bots. Let me get rid of these bots really quick. The bots had me pull my eyes off the. Off the plane and I crashed. Good sheesh. Oh, that makes me mad. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to talk about Viper Strike too. Uh, Viper Strike is a really, really awesome flight simmer. Uh, what what you can find on Viper Strike streams? Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Just making sure we were in the right spot. So there's Cappy Stick. I'm gonna jump in on Cappy Stick. What you can see on Viper Strike streams are in here is a lot of information about the areas that you're flying. Uh, dumb. I appreciate the offer, but um, I, I'm really good. The 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 awesome thing about the flight, and I, I and, and I don't mind you being a mod. Um, but um, I just I feel bad about asking people sometimes because I don't want anyone to feel like they are um are burdened down, you know, in my in my streams by by having to be a mod. But what's really awesome about the flight sim community is there's there's very little need for a mod very little need for moderators in the flight sim community all right let me change the weather again sheesh so i was with uh broken clouds right yeah broken clouds and then a little bit of snow there we go that's where we were at and i need to change time of day again although i'm good with this time of day so we'll do real time. Let's do real time. There. Okay. Now we're good. Ah, uh, you know, I don't think I really. I, I, you have. Uh, hey, if you've got mod brain on stream on on streams, dumb, then then by all means, let me let me mod you. Um, I know I can trust you. You're a great person. Um, I've known you for a long time too, so let me go ahead and get that done really quick. There. All right, you are now a mod, dumb. Yeah, I didn't mean that. Yeah, and, and I don't think you took it that way. It's not that I don't want you to be a mod. I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to give anyone, you know, I don't want you to feel like you have to you know be a mod or whatever there okay sorry oh yeah Dakey. it's it's yeah i understand but but honestly i mean i don't have gosh i don't think i've ever i don't think i've ever had a bot raid now it's gonna happen because i said it but i've never had a bot raid um, although I do have an SOS key on my uh, stream deck, if I do get bot rated, I've got an SOS key that will um, automatically put slow mode on and will put um, sub only mode on and emote only mode on all at once. And that should help with any you know issues that we have. But for the most part, people aren't looking for flight sim to, to cause drama. It's it's all it's the it's the bigger the more popular games that people are looking for. Yeah, yep. So I got a little SOS key. It's not right here. All I have to do is hit that, and there it is. So SOS takes me where I need to be. For all that. Oh, I bet it was bonkers at times back in the early days. Heck yes. <laughs> for sure, thank you. I, I, I totally understand that. 
just chatting in minecraft is where you see the trolls come out in justice streams oh yeah i hate that um there are i can't remember the last time i've had a troll i think i've had one troll since i've been a flight simmer um i had some while i was doing you know the variety stuff I had a couple come in and you know like oh man get off of twitch you don't have a place on twitch and stuff like that and i just i just give them a hard time right back it doesn't bother me yeah uh Chino, I, I don't know i don't know where people get the what they get what they gain from that i don't get it But I guess they have their little, you know, whatever. The, uh, the, the troll, which I do know trolling is a thing. I mean, it's actually, there are troll chat rooms or troll channels, um, not on Twitch, but you know what I mean? Troll, where, where trolls hang out and they brag about, you know, who they trolled or whatever. So that actually is the thing. <laughs> Yeah, some are fishing and some are just trying to... You banned 18 people on 9-11? Wow. Dang, oh, can do. Yes, exactly, oh, can do. Yep. Yep, so that's, what, that's why I've got the SOS button. And not just for that. I don't want... I don't want a thousand fake followers. I mean, I want the people that I want the people that follow me to follow me because they like me, not because it's some some bot that someone set up to to do raids. So I don't want artificial follows. Oh, there is a site to remove them all. I didn't realize that. What's a mod? Oh, so a mod is a moderator. Uh, Jim, a mod is a moderator. Oh, are you jumping back in? Yeah, so a mod is a moderator. And so, like, with streaming, sometimes I don't have time to... Well, I mean, I always have my eye on chat. But sometimes streamers don't have time to always look at chat. And so, if someone comes in and says something inappropriate, then a moderator can remove it. Um, They, they can remove that comment or whatever off of chat is what that is. Oh, awesome, Jim. Thank you for jumping back in. Uh, these days, there's many streams about Ukraine. Yesterday, you asked a few if they were given the sub and donations to help making money. No answer and permaban on the spot. What? Oh, to help her making money on the back of the... Oh, wow, Muet. Wow. What do I have? Oh, wow. That is... That's a... Wow. Yeah, MPI. Yeah, I hope so. I hope that they're working on that. The tower, like, right in my path, turning away from it. Yes, Cappy Stick, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Trolls are the people who really do need help. They really do in real life. That they've got, they've got suppressed pain, and they don't know how to verbalize it or vocalize it, or, or you know, so they they put their energy in trolling people rather than focusing on helping themselves get the help that they need exactly angry one horn what is going on how are you welcome to the channel and yes angry one horn is a fellow flight sim streamer a great guy in real life um really really good flight simmer a uh, disc golf player extra extraordinaire i've learned and also has worked on planes as well was an aircraft mechanic for a while but good morning to you. How are you doing, Angry One Horner? Nice to see you. So we're just going to turn this corner right here. And uh, if anyone wants to fly along, feel free to jump on in and fly along with us. Um, all of my streams are 100% interactive, viewer interactive. So if you want to fly, fly. Fly what you want to. Fly how you want to.
I'm looking to see if there's any more river channels that we can fly, but it does not right now. It'll be a little while. So yeah, we've got some people flying along with us. I've got Crunch in here. Supposed to have flamingos over here. Oh, Cappy Stick, really? So there is an area in... No, that's right, it is here. It is in Chile where there's supposed to be flamingos. Yep, I remember seeing that on the world map. So we got Kaiser Kurt. Thank you, Kaiser Kurt, for loading in. Corsair, Muet, Cappy Stick, Mogpot, Vinton. Oh, Muet's in. Said your name and just didn't even register with me to begin with. Sirius over there is probably with us as well in Crunch. Turn on POIs. Um, yo, you didn't see any. So from what I understand, you have to be in one very tight, it's a very tight spot. You have to be in a very specific area to see them. Um, I want to say it was in Murphy's channel or Shoney Gaming, one of those two, I was in their channel and they were somewhere. They, <laughs> they, okay, so it was, it was Shoney. Uh, I was in someone's channel and they, they had them, but it was in a very specific location you had to be in. Oh, so you did see, you do see them. Okay, I'm gonna head that way. So the only reason I don't like POIs on is because it clutters the screen for me. Oh, the, okay, that's right. Yes, that's right. The POIs clutter uh, the sim for me. And uh, I just like to see everything without all the other stuff. Yeah, Cappy Stick, I'm heading over that way. If you don't mind, just uh, stay in there for just a minute. While I fly over there, we'll check out the flamingos. Uh, flamingos. So in my, uh, in my promotional video for this for this series, I was flying in this area and I started right there so I could see the flamingos, but I never saw them. And then I fly over, um, I flew over this way and out back around. Yeah, we'll fly over here to where Cappy Stick is. Let's check out some flamingos. I didn't know flamingos were in the snow, but they will be. And I can tell that I have not drank a whole lot of water because I just realized it's been two and a half hours and I have not taken a pee break yet. So we'll check out the flamingos. I might even land there. And then we'll, uh, then we'll end there. How many shrimps do you have to eat? Before you make your skin turn pink. I thought that's where you were going with that. I have no idea. I wonder. I wonder. They're moving and flying. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. Whoever's channel that was, I was on, and I don't remember whose it was. Uh, they were moving and flying then, too. But I love shrimp. Oh, I love shrimp. Yeah, right, Viper. I'm down for that too. Maybe a uh, a shrimp a shrimp competition eating stream. Y'all down for that? <laughs> That's it. I'll eat shrimp until I turn pink. That'll be a stream. It'll be a shrimp eating stream until I turn pink. Hello, is it me? Uh, Viper, Viper, thank you for that lurk. Thank you for that lurk, Viper Strike. I appreciate that. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> for the love. Thank you for that sound alert. I think I have those fixed. You know, for the for the whole week, my sound alerts have been double posting. But that one did not double post. In fact, none of them I have, so I guess I've got it fixed. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out in just a minute. Okay, so the uh, right, so right the right flamingos right are right here. I got to flamingo over to the flamingos. I 
I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'll circle back around. It might take a minute for them to load in. You're in them. Okay. You know, can I take the drone over there? Will they show up in the drone? So if we don't know. If I land, oh no, Jim. Yeah, sometimes it does that weird, that weird thing. So there's a car. So I think I'll land to get the drone out. How about that? And this will be a good time for me to take a pee break too. So let me let me swing around. Oh, gee, Isaac, what's going on? Welcome back. You grew up. You've grown to love flight streams like this one because the people are so chill and easy going. Definitely a breath of fresh air. Oh, thank you so much, OG, OG Isaac. I appreciate the kind, very kind words. Thank you. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining from your job. I do that a lot in my job. I join a lot of people's streams from my work. Thank you for those kind words. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well today. We are going to check out some flamingos. This is supposed to be a flamingo wildlife refuge right here. So I'm going to come in and land right here. In fact, I think I'll pull up right over here by Kaiser Kurt. Oh, no. Ah, crap. Okay. Oh, Kurt, you can't see him either? Well, I'm going to spawn in. Yes, I am East US. Yep, I am East US. For sure. So, see, yeah, see, see, it's even got the logo right there. I know, right? Yep, a big, big F. A big F. So, I'll set that as the departure. And hopefully... Yeah, they're flying flamingos, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drone up, and that way maybe we can see them. Oh, no, you know, it was Joel, wasn't it? It was Joel's stream, Iceman. Wasn't that on Joel's stream that uh, he was here? Or somewhere and there were flamingos. I'm pretty sure maybe it was Joel's stream. Flights with Joel. Yeah, okay. I knew it was some streamer stream when they were uh, checking out the flamingos and I couldn't remember who, but that is exactly who it was. Good thing they're, Im they're immune to rudder wash, right? <laughs> Dave Rendon, what is up, my friend? How are you doing, Dave? Good to see you, my friend. Dave Rendon, a good friend of mine, on stream, off stream. Right turn onto Delta and for three, two. Damn, you see that plane just take off? Uh, Dave Rendon's a great, great guy. A great guy. Great flight simmer also. Good friend of... Good friend off stream also. Uh, Y'all go give Dave a follow. If you don't follow Dave Rendon, go give him a follow. And a survivor. Hey, a COVID survivor also. I mean, Dave, Dave has been through it lately. Uh, great, great guy. What in the world, Kaiser Kurt? What is that? <laughs> what is that? All right, let me change the weather really quick to, to what it was. Good sheesh. Uh, high level clouds is where we were, right? No, 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 broken clouds. And real time and a little bit of snow. A little bit of snow scruff. There we go. And now let me jump into the drone. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Dave. Uh, and uh, yeah, Dom, if you're talking about um, uh, Dave calling me by my real name, that's perfectly fine. Uh, my real name is out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my real name's out there. 
um, I was a guest on a podcast. Um, and so, and it's really easy if you Google, oh, the spam. Oh yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I think Kaiser Kurt may have accidentally, may have accidentally hit something on their keyboard. So we're good there. We're good, no worries. <laughs> Hello out there, I'm Dave. Uh, Dave, how are you doing? Oh, wait, Cappy Stick, are you where the flamingos are? Is anyone seeing flamingos right now? If you are, tell me so I can find them. Okay, so they're where Cappy Stick is. All right, so we're going to fly over to Cappy Stick. Let's see the flamingos. Dave, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're doing well. The biggest formation you've flown in. <laughs> That's hilarious. If I remember correctly, they are, um, they're really hard to find, but once you find them, Yeah, I'm not seeing a single flamingo. You're doing good. Just watching me on the big screen again. Nice. Awesome. You were trying to fly the drone. I was wondering why it wasn't moving. <laughs> oh, Kaiser. <laughs> That's what all that was. I understand. No worries at all. Yeah. Um, Dom, who, who I just modded a little while ago, was wondering if you were spamming, but no, I knew it was uh, some, some sort of keyboard thing going on. Yeah, they might be in different places for different people. I would just really like to see them if possible, but I do remember from Joel's stream, uh, he had a hard time finding them, but once he found them, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't quite so bad but he did, he did have a tough time finding them so let's see here speed up a little bit yeah thank you dom no worries at all no worries yeah jim fish the next airport but we have a long ways to go uh next airport is is uh s is sierra charlie oscar hotel s-c-o-h but it's a long ways from here next airport's a long ways from here well this is unfortunate yeah we need to put some shrimp out right a bird call <laughs> yeah we need to do a bird call what do, what do what do flamingos even sound like what do flamingos sound like i don't know that oh wait i got a little glitch there like someone was trying to load in let's spy on cappy stick Wait, Cappy Stick's not even in there. Is he flying this thing by remote control? What? Google Flamingo, bring up a Google image, say, oh, look, found a Flamingo. That's, that's accomplished, right? <laughs> Call the guy from Duck Dynasty. They're higher than you think. Are they really? Okay. But Cappy Stick is seeing them, and that's where he is. Oh, well, I'm not going to spend, you know, a whole ton of time on the stream looking for Flamingos, but it would have been cool to find them. It would have been pretty cool. You're on live weather, much less snow. Okay. Yeah, Cappy Stick, post them later in Discord. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, it could be the weather. It very well could be the weather I have on too. So um, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty funny that the rotors don't move. It is pretty funny. All right, so we'll return the drone back to its uh, location. 
back to the plane we go and there we go yeah yeah all right i'm gonna take a quick uh just a few minute break give me like i don't know three to five minutes uh, i'm gonna go uh yeah th that's it the rotors match the frame rate that's why they're not moving exactly we'll take that rat hole good answer not a <laughs> twig shine what's up i gotta take a pee break and uh say hello to the wife and i'll be right back give me three to five minutes be right back All right, we're back. Had a little more cream cheese. I have I have become addicted to cream cheese. That's kind of my snack food now. It's good for you too. Um, so uh, yeah, had a little cream cheese there and some water. Said hello to the wife, and I'm back. Put a flamingo in a helicopter when not observed, it'll fly the helicopter. Once observed, it'll turn into a sine wave. <laughs> All right, so uh, no flamingos for me today. Sorry. We'll uh, take on back off and continue flying the flight path. So everybody's ready. Let me see who all's with us now. So uh, Vinton, Vinton's out there. Uh, Cappy Stick. Muet. I like this cell phone tower. Uh, Fatty, if you're still here, there's your tower to climb. Uh, Crunch is still out here and oh there's uh i can't remember who that is right there beside me got some people still flying along let me check my gas no not cottage cheese actual cream cheese 
Um, so we recently discovered, which, which I mean, cream cheese, of course, has been around forever, but uh, strawberry cream cheese and berry flavored cream cheese. Because my wife has uh, discovered that she's diabetic. And so we're trying to eat a little more healthy. Well, it doesn't have any sugar in it. Cream cheese isn't, it's low sugar. Um, and so I'm doing, I'm doing a low carb and, and she is too, because she can't have sugar. So, um, it's good in that aspect. It's good in that, that aspect. Cream cheese and cucumber sandwich rat hole. That sounds good. Yeah. So bagel bread is what she has every morning. Bagel bread with uh, cream cheese on it. All right, here we go. Let me jump back into the plane and we'll go ahead and take off part break off. Let's roll. Let's go. There we go. And we're up. Ooh, more coffee time. Yeah, I've got my coffee right here beside me. I've got to hit that up too. I got to hit my coffee up too, Dom. All right, so I should be good to go for a while. No, but the cooked versus recooked potatoes. No, tell me about that. What's up with cooked versus recooked potatoes? I have not heard anything about that. I mean, I like twice baked potatoes are a thing. If that's what you're talking about, a twice baked potato, they're pretty good. So now I've got to readjust everything so that I can fly low once again. Oh yeah, Iceman, I saw your comment. I saw your comment. Iceman just whispered me too, but yeah, I saw your comment and uh, it's cool. I'll have to revisit it some other time um, and, and see it a little bit better where I can, maybe in a helicopter would probably be ideal so I can hover. It's probably the best way to see it. You got a new business development person for your company and having to meet with them at the top of the hour. We're asked to brainstorm our dream companies to work. So you've been looking through screenshots to find some of yours. Oh, cool. Oh, Cards Against Humanity is, is really awesome. Really awesome. Tam the OG bought the family version of that um, for her family for Christmas and we play it. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> German. German T-Bird. Yes, I hope so too. Uh, recooked potatoes are pretty good, but uh, yeah, re, uh, recooked spinach. Ugh. Recook spinach would be just pretty, pretty gross. Which I like spinach, but recooked, ugh, that that sounds pretty nasty. There we go. Just bringing in just a touch more snow. Your wife says it causes cancer. You think it's just to make you buy more groceries? Wait a minute. So recooking. Recooking potatoes gives you cancer or recooking spinach makes you causes cancer. Because I don't say I don't see how either one of them could. Oh, spinach. Wow. OK, that's the first I've heard of that. That's the first I've heard of that. But, you know, I mean, it seems like almost everything does. Yes, there is a crunch in the group. Yeah, crunch 888, I think it is. They create more nitrates. Oh, wow. Really? Once cooked, then cooled, the carbohydrates and potatoes will change into a compound with lower glycemic index. So if you cook potatoes however you want, cool them and reheat them, they're full of low GI carb carbs, which are great. For oh, really? Gyro, thank you for that. I'll have to check that out. Viking, thank you for jumping in. A little slew action there. If you retook on the muffler, 
Wow, that's that's really interesting. What is um It sounds so fake. I'll have to look that up. I've got to look because my wife loves potatoes. I mean, she loves potatoes. And that's something that she is really missing as a diabetic because she just realized it. I have to get an oil change. Okay. Resurrect, thank Hello. you so much. Is it me you're looking for? Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate that. Thank you for flying along. And uh, yes, I'll see you tomorrow for sure. We'll be in uh, New Zealand tomorrow, checking out New Zealand. So Dom, if you would type in exclamation HS, exclamation um, Hotel Sierra, that'll bring up the link for heart support. And heart support is what I'm what I'm doing this week is raising money for um, a charity called Heart Support. Heart Support is all about your mental health. So whatever it is, um, whatever it is that's bothering you, and, and I, I said this earlier today, I'm gonna say it again. Whenever you're going through anything, whatever that may be, whenever you're going through it, in the midst of it, you feel like you're all alone. No one's there. No one understands what you're going through. Um, no one has been what you've been through, and you're just all alone in this battle all by yourself. You are not. You're not. Two people this week, two people this week have told me that they have been through something, and yes, that is exactly how they felt, but they realized that they weren't. It's just, a, it's just a thing that our minds do. So please, please, if you're going through something, um, get, get some help, talk to somebody. Um, there's nothing wrong with admitting that, hey, I'm going through something and I need someone just to help get me through it. So heart support is, is one of those avenues. That, there's a lot of good avenues. If you have a support system in real life, do it. Ah, thank you for the 100 biddies, the anonymous cheer. Thank you so much for that 100 biddies. I appreciate that. If you have a, a support system at, you know, the, in real life, awesome. That is amazing, good for you. I have that. If you don't, um, heart support can help. So um, there's the links. If you can give to heart support, please do. We've had a lot of people already give and I truly appreciate that. I'm not asking anyone to re-give, and if you can't, I understand that too. I'm not asking you to give money that you don't have. Um, I just really wanted to give back to the world in this way by spending this week streaming for charity, I mean, for, for a nonprofit, and giving back to the world in that way. Oh, um, so that, that is actually, um, th this is true. This is true. Um, that's actually pulled right off of Heart Support's channel though. So th that's, uh, this is, yeah, yeah, good idea. Good idea. Um, Dom, do you have the capability of, see, I told you I didn't need a mod. Now I'm working you. Do you have the case? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Do you have the capability of, of changing that? Okay, cool. So if you will, just right before uh, the word depression, put in all caps. Put in all caps. Um, trigger warning, please. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that information. No, I use um, Streamlabs. Streamlabs is what I use. Uh, Jade, um, you know Jade, Dom, Jane Ragula or Jane Ragu. I, 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 I don't recall how to how to say the last name, but Jade uh, is a member of the community here too. She's always in here. Um, but yesterday, um, they volunteered to be a mod also. Oh, Chiron, thank you so much. Yeah, you know Jade. So Jade Dom volunteered to be a mod as well yesterday. Yeah, I just I got the adventure mods, right? Exactly. I've got uh I've got Hannah, I've got you, I've got Jade. What's going on, Dwarven Egg Official is a uh, good friend of mine in real life. Um 
what's going on and also a flight sim streamer a really awesome dude uh always does bush flights loves the kit fox in fact in fact it's um uh, it's dwarven eggs fault that i've got the kit fox and that i have um put my 172 in permanent storage in the hangar and uh have have committed to fly in the kit excuse me the kit fox almost exclusively dwarven eggs a great great guy a good streamer also go check out dwarven egg official if you don't already what's going on dwarven egg how are you today oh no what until i learned the wood 45 yes so i don't I, i've got the 145 cappy stick but only in my community folder just so it will load in i don't actually have um the code like it takes a code that you have to put in to actually be able to fly it so i just have it in my community folder just so i can see the 145 as other people fly it oh uh same link ice man so type in livery is cheating while touring the ceiling for the kit fox is nineteen thousand, if i'm not mistaken it's actually higher the ceiling is actually higher than the cessna 172 is it's crazy need to get a second camera to start using twat and track and wire it's amazing really i've been told i've been told that Twenty five hundred, I mean twenty five thousand with turbo. Wow. Yeah, so the Cessna one seventy two is fourteen thousand feet ceiling. Yeah, it does make sense, Rat Hole. That's true. Uh, I've been told about tra 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 <laughs> words. Words are so hard for me sometimes. Track the wire. Um, I got to check that out. But I've got another camera. I've got another camera, but it, but it's a DCLR, and I don't. I, I hate to set up another DCLR. Oh, that might be what it is then, Dom. That might be it. It's the engine that decides the ceiling, not the plane. Okay, I got you. See, I'm still learning stuff. Still learning stuff. Uh, let me add it really quick. I can add that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, China, uh, Chino. There we go. Got it. I haven't changed. I changed it. Sorry about that, Dom. Thank you for trying, though. I appreciate that. No, actually, I just went into the command and got it. There we go. Yeah, thank you for the love. I, I really do appreciate you telling me that for the love. I knew about trigger warnings, but um, I didn't realize that that. Yeah, you're very welcome. Very welcome. I just didn't know in what context to use trigger warnings. So, so now I know. Thank you very much. So we're flying along here in the country of Chile. Um, in southwestern South America. Fly in the mountains, um, the valleys, the rivers. It's been really, really amazing. We still have a ways to go. The closest airport is SAWC. So Sierra Alpha Alpha Whiskey Charlie is the closest airport if you want to load in there. But really, and I don't mind this, to make it easier for you if you want to fly along, um, just send me a friend request in Microsoft Flight Sim. It'll pop up right here, I'll see it. And then I'll, I'll accept it, and then you can just spawn in on me right off the world map. It makes it way easier. It makes it so easy. So if you would like to, you don't have to. But it's out there if you'd like to fly along with us. The offer is there. Quaird, what's going on, Quaird? How are you doing? 
really good to see you I almost missed you as i was looking at um checking things over here on the other monitor let me give Quaird a shout out uh Quaird is another fellow flight sim streamer there we go go check out Quaird. Let me uh, see here. I missed a couple things. The death zone on Mount Everest is from what? 20,000 feet. So it'd be pretty scary to fly up there unpressurized. Yeah, this is true. This is true for you. And also, so I think what a lot of people do is they carry oxygen tanks in the planes. Um, so if I, if I had a, um, if I had a kit Fox and I was going to go above um, the oxygen area, then I would wear um, a mask in an oxygen tank with me is what I would do. For you and also the potential same for others self-harm thoughts have been an active thought in your head for the for the last little while because of what's happening in real life right now so the last thing you want to see is self-harm oh good hey and thank you so much for telling me that for the love i really do appreciate it what a three and a half hour spitfire flight dude that's awesome queer w where were you flying wow where were you flying at? And then a 19 knot crosswind? That's amazing. Fire Sandy, trying the Uker, trying to VR fly to different airports to see if it works for the Uker. Nice, very good, Sandy. Yeah, I mean, no doubt that you, you deserve that bow. I mean, you deserve all the applause. I don't know if I have, do I have an applause key? That's not applause. That's not applause. Sorry about that. Um, I don't think I have an applause shortcut, so I'm not going to push any more random buttons. That's my Halloween sounds. That's actually me. That's actually me. For I, I had some spooky Halloween sounds that I would play. Yeah, there you go, Muat. Thank you very much for that Sim Caesar hand clap. This is my granddaughter. So that's my granddaughter. I play those. I play those random leads during uh, Halloween. Just a little fun there. That was my granddaughter and me. Um, but did you just rip your pants? <laughs> Take her to some island. Oh, awesome, awesome. But dude, to land in that kind of a crosswind in that plane too. Yeah, she's a whale, right? Yeah, <laughs> sorry you couldn't hold it in. No worries. No worries at all. Um, oh, funny story. Funny story, y'all. I have not told this story. So y'all know I was, you know, 14 years I was a technician on working on cars. Then for 14 years I was a service manager at, at a dealership. So within my first month, it was probably within the first week as service manager, um, I was getting in a customer's truck to ride with them. They had an issue and I stepped in and my pants ripped. I heard it. I mean, you, you can literally hear that as I stepped in my, the whole butt of my pants was ripped out. So then, uh, and the customer didn't hear it, but the whole time we're test driving, all I all I'm thinking is once I get out of the truck, what am I going to do? Because now I've got to walk down the service drive, which which is right by the showroom. I've got to walk right by the showroom into the shop. You know what? How am I going to handle this? So I just I just marched right in there and I, and I went up to the service advisors and I said, look, guys, I'm going to have to go home and change pants really quick. Um, I read <laughs> so, so I did, but yeah, that, uh, th that is a 100% true story. And that's not the first time that that happened to me. It happened to me one other time, one other time. So I'm very careful getting up into trucks because y'all, I'm a big guy. I'm, I'm a big guy and, and my pants are kind of tight because I'm, I'm, I'm big and I don't want to buy new pants and I'm, I struggle losing weight. Yeah, it was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. All right, let's see who's flying along with us. Uh, Crunch888 flying along. Corsair is here. Viking is here. My Chemistry also here. Muet in the air as well. Kaiser Kurt, um, Cappy Stick, Vinton, 
and the only one that i'm questioning is spiel over here spiel might just be a random person flying along uh in the sim not necessarily with us but everybody else i do recognize all of those names i know they're all with us oh my gosh german really oh that would that would suck so bad in high school that's such a that's such a hard time anyways and then for you to rip your pants in school oh my gosh dude hey dcm what's going on dcm how are you good to see you oh thank you yeah let me show you the livery uh thank goodness for home economics right um so this livery day one monday you gotta head out okay yeah viper strike thank you so much for being here silver spell with the raid oh my gosh silver spell thank you for the follow have been bred have been bred thank you for the follow silver spell you're so you're too kind you are too kind silver spell you are spoiling me with your raids my my friend my friend you are so freaking kind so everybody silver spell is a, a really a very energetic very happy very kind very sweet every other nice word i can think of is silver spell oh, wow that hurt me <laughs> that that is silver spell i love silver spell i love her streams it's, it's, i've known silver spell for a long time thank you silver spell for the raids you are so kind you realize you spoil me with these raids right welcome in raiders yeah i know that that was kind of that was kind of wild the heartbeat was like i was wait a minute why is my heart beating in my ears uh, but welcome in silver spell welcome in raiders i'm scruffy tam a long time gamer y'all know me i'm a flight simmer now so you flew with serance for the for a bit and it's an amazing plane nimble fast light and pretty Ooh, what's a serance what kind of plane is that oh Iceman! thank you for that oh it's a jet sweet thank you for that follow ice man i really do appreciate that so um my livery yeah so monday boxy buffalo i love that name boxy we're a goofy goober boxy buffalo i love that i love your name i, I truly do people come up with such creative usernames in on on twitch and in the sim it's it's amazing i love it um oh you followed her a long time ago nice you follow her i see that now i thought you said you followed but you said follows thank you silver spell you're too kind so monday right before stream was over ewald who creates some really amazing liveries uh messaged me or actually just asked me in chat if i was if i was going to be flying the kit fox the whole time and yes i said yeah i'll be flying the kit fox all week so within just a f within an hour or two um ewald sent me this this livery it's got the heart support on it because we're raising money for heart support this week got one sock over on this side of course a mismatch sock on the other side and then the heart support lo uh, logo on the front as well so i was super super appreciative of ewald doing that Ewald's such an such an awesome artist and does a really good job. So thank you for that again, Ewald. If you're here, even if you're not okay. here, thank you. Um, Boxy Buffalo, dude, I am doing fantastic. Thank you. Hope you are having there a good day. Is. Also, yes. Lima Kilo Mike wasn't able to lurk today, but no, now I'm you have off until that. next Tuesday. What? Nice, Lima Kilo Mike. Thank you. So, uh, are you going to be jumping in, Lima Kilo? thank you and welcome to the channel thank you for uh man you always work lurk and almost always fly along thank you for that socks of the day on the right foot we're in south america and so when i think of south america i think i think of hot tropical desert tacos on the right foot burritos on the left foot so those are my socks of the day tacos and burritos speaking of eating and let me readjust my pedals there there we go those are my socks of the day oh you were seeing if my socks match the livery not today in fact you know what i need to find some socks that do match that would be pretty cool oh 
I love, I love Mexican food. All right, so let me show y'all a little nav map. I found a river and a channel we're gonna fly into. This should be exciting. What server? I'm on US East, so we are, oh, where am I on the map? Um, Boxy, let me show you where I am. So here we are, um, I'm right, right here, South America. And Boxy, if you wanna send me a friend request in the sim, uh, send me a friend request and I'll accept it. And that way you can spawn in on me. So let's do this. There is a channel. Let's see here. Let me find the channel. There's a channel right here, right here that takes us to where we're going to be going. So let's jump into here, into this lake right here and fly this channel as we go over. Okay. So I do need to, I do need to change my heading and we'll just follow this. We'll follow this lake and then this river. Okay. It should be beautiful. Oh, my name, I'm Scruffy Tam everywhere, Boxy. Um, I'm on all the socials, uh, everything, and I'm Scruffy Tam everywhere. You can literally Google Scruffy Tam and there will be pages of Scruffy Tam and they're all me. But yeah, dude, if you can jump in and fly along, that would be amazing, Boxy Buffalo. I love people flying along. The more people, the happier I am. It gives me energy. It gives me so much energy to have an active chat and people flying along. It really, really does. So uh, yeah, if you can fly, please. And that goes for anybody. Anybody that wants to fly along. Fly what you want to. Fly how you want to. There's my, uh, there's my slogan. No rules, just flight. All right. So got that friend request. Let me accept it really quick. Give me a minute while I fly over these trees. There we go. Friend request accepted. I'm assuming that's you. It doesn't matter if it's you or not. Okay, yep. Gotcha, gotcha, Boxy. No worries, no worries. And what's really cool about, um, what's really cool about being a friend in the sim is a lot of times, um, if I'm test flying somewhere or I'm flying along with another streamer, off stream if you see me if you see me flying feel free to jump in and fly along with me you never know what you might find so uh yeah and that goes for anybody if i'm not streaming and you see me in the sim do it okay so boxy i'm flying the kit fox if you don't have the kit fox i would recommend the cub crafter or the cessna 172 because i'm flying really slow and so the, how you spawn in on me is um, when you're on the world map, um, move the map until you see South America. And then you will you should see a circle with a plane icon. Hover over it and you'll see Scruffy Tam. Just click on that and set me as your destination. I love that Flight Sim did that. It makes it so easy to spawn in on people. It makes it super, super easy. And so if you're just joining and you'd like to fly along, do just what Boxy Buffalo did or if, you know, whatever you want to do, just come join us if you can. If you can't, I appreciate it. Thank you for being in chat. Thank you for the work lurk or whatever. Um, my streams are not so much educational as they are just enjoying the beauty of, of the world we live in. It's beautiful. And so I have different flight plans we fly I wish I was as knowledgeable as Fabio. I wish I was as energetic as Two-Tone Murphy. I wish I could do an Arnold impression like um, like Shoney Gaming. But you know what? I'm Scruffy Tam. Gorman. Gormanator. What is going on, Gormanator? How are you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you for that first time chat. Gormanator is a uh, partner, a very new Twitch partner and a friend of, of uh, Dwarven Eggs. Gormanator, welcome to the channel. Thank you for that first time chat. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, 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 I am me, I am me. I am me. And that's what's awesome about being individuals. That's why we're called individuals. We, we all have our different personalities and you know, there's different things. Now, I, I personally, I like Fabio, Um, but we all have our different, our different, you know, 
or different things. And that's what I love about life. It's what I love about life is we're not all the freaking same. Can you imagine how boring it would be? Oh, thank you, Dwarven Egg. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. I got, I got wrapped up in, in, in my speech and forgot to shout out Gormnator. Appreciate your sense of humor. Where it's lighting the torch. <laughs> All right, so uh, socks of the day. On the right foot, I've got my taco socks. So y'all, we're flying in South America. We're flying in South America. What I think about when I think of South America, I think of I think of hot, I think of tropical, I think of desert, and I think of tacos on the right foot, and I think of burritos on my left foot. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. But you know, I think of hot and tropic as in here we are flying in snow, right? What? Yes, I am very far from the equator. <laughs> Thank you, Boxy. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's what I love about uh, uh, life and living is that we're not all the same. How boring would it be? This is a taco break, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, Gormanator. That was awesome. This is a taco burrito conversation, nachos. Love it. Love it. Oh, dude, that was hilarious. Um, so yeah, I love I love life. I love living. Um, this week, this week, if you're just joining, this week I have set aside, I'm on spring break. I set this week aside to raise funds for an amazing nonprofit charity called Heart Support. Heart Support is there for you. It's not a it's not a a, um, a human heart issue. They are there for mental support, mental health, whatever that looks like for you. Whatever that looks like for you, and that could be you're just struggling with whatever. You're struggling with your job. You're struggling with a relationship. You're you're being abused um you know the the serious things and, and and with you with you everything you know i mean all these things may be very very serious to you it may not be so serious to me or anyone else but for you yes it's personal and it's very serious and so if you need help heart support is here for you exclamation hs dwarven egg if you could type in exclamation hs um, because I don't want anyone being, you know, feeling like, dang, if I type that in, then they're going to know I'm, I'm hurting. So exclamation HS will get you the help you need. And we'll also get you the link to donate to heart support. So please, if you can, we've had a ton of people already donate. If you can, um, if you're so inclined, donate, if you can't, that's cool. I just appreciate you being here. Silver spell. Thank you so much for the raid. You are so freaking kind. So kind. I appreciate that. Thank you for the raid. Have a good sleep, my friend. 2 a.m. Gosh, it's rare that I'm up at 2 a.m. in the morning. Holy crap. No way I'd be up that late. But thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to fly a little channel here. I do have a flight plan, but I'm deviating from it some as I look at little nav map and see really beautiful areas to fly. So after stream, uh, when I took my break a few minutes ago, I talked to the wife. And after stream, we're going to go to the next town over. It's a really historic town. And she wants to do some window shopping and find somewhere to eat. So we're going to go uh, do some, have some, have some scruff and Mrs. Scruff time. You know what they say? Nothing good happens past 8 a.m., right? And, and I'm proof of that. Nothing happens past 8 a.m. My stream starts at 8 a.m. So starting at 8 a.m., nothing good happens. <laughs> All right, so this is Lake uh, Lake Anita, I think it is. It's hard for me to tell, but it looks like it says Lake Anita. I don't know who Anita is, but this is this is their lake. Ah, coffee, I'm feeling the coffee. No, I know that. I know that tweet, Chad. I was just being funny. I was referencing. I was referencing my stream. I knew you weren't necessarily. Can we ban Twixham, please? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding, mods. Just kidding. Don't ban him. Yeah, Anita, you have a nice lake. Ooh, look at that lake. And 
Anita, look at that lake Anita's got. It won't be the first time. Yo, that lake is hot. Yeah, <laughs> cringy, right? Oh no, I missed. I missed where I was supposed to turn. I'm supposed to be turning right in here, I think. That's what little nav map is showing, anyways. It should be right in here. <laughs> lake, can I get your number? Can I get your digits? Can I get your number? You legit got banned for saying poop once? 30 seconds of Scruffy Tam A ASMR. What is, uh, what's Scruffy Tam ASMR? What, what would you like me to do? So have y'all ever seen the video? I forgot what it's from and who it is. Or the guys in the movie theater and the girl sitting there watching a the movie and the guy comes up. Hey, can I get your, can I get your number? Can I get your number? Can I get your seven digits? Microphone leaking? No, no. I was on. Um, oh God, whose uh, whose channel was that? Um, B Mint. I was on B Mint's channel and someone mentioned microphone leaking, and she pulled up a YouTube video of someone microphone leaking, and I'm like, God, I'd be. I think that's that that could be bannable material right there. No, I'm not leaking my mic. Sorry. Be a full-on cringe and do like whispering about Microsoft Flight Sim. Nah. I don't remember who it was, but it was like, wow, that was right on the edge. It was it was right on the edge. It's not against terms of service. That's it. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying to keep it family friendly here so I'm just I'm just gonna say what I saw yeah it may it may have been not against terms of service but it was it was something boxy buffalo you're in awesome awesome so you are Amanda is that it Amanda So Spiel is with us. So Spiel is with us, apparently. Alexandra. Alexandra is in in the Cub Crafter. Cub Crafter, thank you for taking my suggestion. This is true. You know what? I was, um, I was, oh, ASMR. ASMR is basically anything that, um, that cringes you. Basically is what ASMR is. I, I can't remember what ASMR means. But it's basically, uh, like whispering or some kind of, a. Uh, can't hear you can say it into my ear shaped microphone what yeah um i had the first time i saw the term asmr i had to google it to find out what it was so i'm <laughs> oh there you go thank you gorbinator uh, autonomous sensory meridian response gorbinator coming in here with all the technical stuff for us thank you for that it's tingles oh gosh okay that's you know so yeah okay tingles for me that, i'm not even gonna go there i'm not going we're, we're this is like this is the this is the scruffy after dark friday friday topic type of thing this is uh, it's a relaxing often sedative sensation that begins on the scalp and moves down the body also known as brain massage Whispers, accents, and crackles. Okay. Not the problem is people take it and sexualize it. And now you see where we are exactly, exactly. So, uh, yeah, we'll rein things back in a little bit now. This is more, so this is the Friday night topics, okay? We're keeping it, we're keeping it family friendly. See, even my bot knows, even my bot knows I'm family friendly. Sexual is not allowed here. No, I'm just kidding. I, I allowed it. I've got to get the yeah, okay let's let's fly down I'm gonna fly down low here let's not break the plane fly yeah next topic please next topic thank you Gorminator how about the weather yeah the weather the fake weather that I created in the sim 
So when I first started, let me go back to live weather and see. Yeah, five minutes of interestingness for sure. That's uh, that's all we needed was five minutes of that. All right, let's go to live weather and see what it looks like. Oh, I'm good with live weather now. Dang, this is beautiful. Now watch it load in and be like, mega. yeah, that's what I was expecting. That's exactly what I thought would happen in, in just a minute after selecting live weather. New rule, no SMR chat. Yeah. Rock, rock, thank you for the route plan. So it's really hard when you do a bush flying, it's extremely hard to post the route in, in you know, like, like I'm doing right there. It's extremely hard. David, thank you for the follow. David, thank you for that follow. Gormanator, thank you for that follow also. I appreciate that. And uh, I'll give you my spiel now. So I'm Scruffy Town. Gormanator, I really do appreciate that. Y'all, thank you so much for the follows. I am Scruffy Tam, a long time gamer. I've been gaming since the late 1970s. I've been streaming since September of 2021, and I have been streaming Flight Sim since September of 2020. Excuse me, se September of 2020. I've been streaming. I've been Flight Simming since September of 2021, and that's when things started exploding in my channel was once I started flight simming. I'm gonna go back to um, scruffy created weather just because I don't like so much snow on the ground. Uh, so let's go back let's with go! broken clouds. There's a little shout out for Gornator playing some Fortnite. Y'all, I played Fortnite for the first time in forever last night. I played Fortnite with my nephew one round. And then I had to go, but yes, I do play Fortnite, and it's it's something I enjoy off stream. I don't play it much on. Well, I have I have streamed Fortnite, but I enjoy it. That's that's kind of my off stream chill game is Fortnite. So Gornator, um, oh, you probably play on PC though. So I play on Switch. I play on my I play on Nintendo Switch. I have a hard time playing it on PC, but I'm a I'm a I'm pretty bangers on Switch. Yes, Twi Twitch Town, how did you? Oh, yes, yes, that's right. I forgot I mentioned it. I was wondering, how did you know that? Yes, yeah, so my nephew is the 16, the 16 year old bodybuilder. This dude is 16 years old, and he said by next week he wants to be able to deadlift 500 and something pounds. I mean, he's incredible. Yeah, so uh, Gormanator, if you want to add me in, um, in on Epic, I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm Scruffy Tam everywhere. And uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm probably not as good as you are. I might be better than, I might be better than, uh, than Dwarven Egg apparently, uh, but I'd be glad to play sometime. So you got your PC in July previously, it was an Xbox. Okay, awesome. <laughs> no, no dinner, no dinner, man. I get straight to the, I get straight to it. I get straight to the point. Epic out of D's already. Heck yeah. That's very easy to find me for anybody. I'm, it's very easy to find me. I'm Scruffy Tam everywhere. Uh, how come I'm ditching the 172? I'm going to show you why I'm ditching the 172. This right here. If I was in the 172, I would right now be blown up on the side of the mountain. This thing climbs like a rocket. I love it. I love it. The only problem I struggle with is landing it. So yeah, I struggle with mouse and keyboard, but the only reason I, the reason I don't play on PC with a controller is I love motion controls. I play motion controls on the Switch and it helps me aim. So I really struggle with aiming um, with, with a controller without motion. So um, that's what I use. That's why I play on the Switch and it, and it works really well. Plane, plane, I'm flying the Kit Fox. There you go. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. Yeah, it does have a heater. This is true, Airlock Doc. Welcome back, by the way. Welcome back, Airlock. So I really, really love this plane. I mean, um, when I tried to bush fly in the um, Cessna 172, 
I found myself in the side of a lot of mountains. Uh, this thing is so agile. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. And we actually had the guy that helped develop, that helped create the Kit Fox, the, um, sl the uh, Slice 42. Parallel, excuse me, Parallel 42 Kit Fox. They were in my channel Monday. Spent a good long time in the channel Monday talking about it and asking me how I liked it and stuff. That was really freaking cool to have the developer, one of the developers of this plane in the channel Monday. It was really cool. Uh, so Kaiser Kurt is flying along with us. Corsair is flying. Muet, Crunch. Uh, let's see who else. Who else? Who else? Viking, Cappy Stick. Someone right there as well. In the Twin Otter, it looks like. Flying along. Who that? Name tag, show yourself, show thyself, name tag. A oh, rat hole, rat hole up there in the Kit Fox also. Oh, okay, so that's Alexandra in the... Nice, yeah, that is the Twin Otter. Rock Rock, you going to lunch? No problem at all. Enjoy your lunch. Um, if you can jump back in and I'm still streaming later, jump back in and fly along with us. I'll be here for a little while still. My original plan was to stream for about another hour and a half, but it looks like we might go longer, a little bit longer than another an hour. Yeah, words, words. It looks like it might be a little bit longer than another hour and a half. So I am gonna speed up a little bit since the wife's off work and wants to go, you know, shopping. Yeah, Jim, it really is wicked. It really is. Yeah, Boxy Buffalo, um, the Cub Crafter should be able to handle these maneuvers. The Cub Crafter is a very light maneuverable plane also, but the Kit Fox, the Kit Fox is amazing. And it's fairly inexpensive too. If you go to Orbix, O-R-B-X, go to the Orbix website and just search uh, Parallel 2 Freedom Fox. Uh, and you, you can pick it up there. So that's one of the reasons why I'm switching from the Cessna to this, because I can maneuver so much easier and better with this plane over um, the other, over the Cessna. And I have a livery for it now too, so there's that. And I like to camp. You know what? I do like to camp here a lot, Doc. I, I really do, and I'm not, I know you do as well. But in real life, I like to camp. Um, I don't do it very often because as a uh, six foot four guy that uh, is 380 pounds, it's a little hard getting off the ground in the mornings. <laughs> so uh, as I lose weight, then I will. Yes, Jim Fish, I do. I put all the third party planes into my community folder. Yeah, the wigwag lights are awesome too. I love the wigwags and I think I have them on. Don't I have them on? What? I had them on earlier. Wait a minute. I guess one of the times I crashed. They turned off. Wigwag on. Wigwag activated. Thank you for that follow. Your friend, John. Hey, everybody. That is my friend, John. Welcome to the channel, John. How are you doing? How are you doing, John? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Whoa, no. Whoa, that was so close. Welcome to the channel, John. I really do appreciate that follow. I'm Scruffy Tam and I'm about to crash into the water. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you a flight simmer? Oh, nice. Thank you, Dwarven Egg. Thank you for the recommendation. Dang, Dwarven Egg coming in with all the people today. There we go. Trying to adjust my trim. Dwarven Egg, thank you for uh, thank you for shouting out your friend John. Who's now my friend John? Why is it doing it like this? 
Uh, Airline Doc. Okay, wait a minute. So uh, thank you for shouting out your friend, John, who's now my friend, John, and everyone else's friend, John. John is just, he's a friend to all. He's a friend to all. Welcome to the channel, John. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so Iceman, no, I have just, he's your friend. No, he's my friend, Gormanator. <laughs> he's my friend. He's my, it reminds me of when I was a kid and my sister would, uh, I would have a friend over and my sister would try to be their friend and I'd go to my mom and be like, mom, my sister's trying to steal my friends. Shot done. Welcome back. How's it going? Shot done. Okay. I'm missing stuff on chat. So, um, the, um, Iceman, Iceman. Yes. I, I, I finally had to get real with myself and realize that, um, flight lessons i have i have postponed my flight i have i have postponed my flight lessons because um financial reasons i mean th there's just no way that i could follow through with flying every weekend or you know as often as i need to to get my pilot's license in 40 hours so i'm gonna I'm, i've postponed that journey for now i'm gonna pay off some debt but i promise i'm gonna continue that journey Okay, so let me, I have missed a lot of chat, y'all. Give me just a second. Let me, uh, let me catch up on chat. Why is my plane, there we go. Let me catch up on chat really quick. Sorry about that. NJ is here. What, what's up, NJ Mitchum? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Really nice to see you this morning. Uh, Shotgun also here. Welcome back. Chino loves camping as well. And Airlot Doc. Um, I have opened the doors. However, um, I have, um, I do have whatever you call it on. So when I open the doors, it crashes the plane. But I did, I did get Viper Strike to do that on his channel one time. And uh, yeah, I saw where, I saw what happens. I saw what happens. It's pretty hilarious. So in this plane, when you open the doors and you're going pretty fast, the doors actually flies off. All right, let's see here. Let me catch up. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's a South Park joke. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Bummers, you're going to hold you to that problem. Yes, please do, Iceman. It may take me a couple years. So I did buy flight school. So, I mean, I have actually purchased flight school. So I'm still doing flight school as I can. Um, but I, I really, as the, as my channel has grown, and especially for this week, I have spent a ton of my spare time building flight plans, um, just spending time in other people's channels, and just getting to know other streamers as well. So um, it's 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 been good for me to step away from that. Do you know when you're ground and the plane open the door? And click on the camping gear in the back. Yes, yes, I did that. Did that yesterday. A dwarven egg. It's awesome. No, I wish I was a full time streamer. No, nope, not full time. I can't see. I can't see ever becoming a full time streamer um, because I love my full time job and um, it pays the bills. So it would take it would take a huge bunch of growth um to replace to replace my full-time job so i mean of course it's always an option but um oh my gosh i don't th that's not even i have i have short-term goals and i have long-term goals in life in real life and on stream that's not even that's not even on paper I need a little more hair, right? I do need some hair. Scrappy Tam only fans. <laughs> oh, good Lord. That's hilarious. Uh, Katie's, uh, any idea why your 787 wants to do reverse thrust? Oh, I have, I have no idea. Oh, I know you're just messing with me. You, lo you love to troll me, Iceman. That's cool. Cause I like to do the same. I can dish it out and I can take it. More hair, yes. I will have more hair on my chin as it grows out. You want to learn to stream gym fish? Dude, um, do it. There's really, there's really not a whole lot to learning. 
the hardest part and i mean this the very mo we talked about this earlier the very the 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 i don't know I, I can't think of an adjective but the hardest thing the hardest thing is when you first start out and you're talking to nobody but you have to talk if you're not talking and engaging with nobody when that one person comes in and you, and you don't see them come in they're gonna leave right away because if you're just sitting there You know, if you're sitting there doing that, nobody is gonna, people are gonna leave. So you, so you have to talk even when nobody's there, nobody's listening, so that when that person does come in, they see you engaging. And that's the hardest part of it. That's the hardest, that's very, very tough, but we've all been there. Yeah, my goatee is gone, so we hit our goal. Um, I, I told y'all, if we hit our goal on for this week, that I would shave my goatee. We hit it day one before stream was even over. So I shaved as soon as, uh, well, I shaved yesterday morning before stream. So uh, Jade, is that you? The Jade Raguba, the Jade, Rag I can't say that last name. Did Jade buy flight sim? She was talking about it. And I wonder now if Jade got it. Yes, Twitch sound. And that's why, because that's the advice. If you ask any streamer advice, that's that's the number one advice you're gonna get is engage, 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 and it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it is. It is for the love. It's really hard. It's really hard. Oh, wow. Someone asked me to shave on stream, but I just didn't want to create a mess back here. I didn't want to make a mess back here in the stream room. So there's a river inlet up here. Um, there's a river inlet. This is not it. This is not the river inlet I speak of. The river inlet's over this way. Um, I'm going to fly into it and then we'll follow the river. Oh, you're playing through the game pass. Nice, Jane. I'm so happy. I am so happy you got it. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Shotgun. I did not know the answer to that question because I've I've never flown a jetliner. I take that back. I flew it one time, but I started in the air and I crashed and I said, nope, that's the end of my uh, pilot career as a jetliner pilot. Yeah, but Jade, that's awesome that you can play through the game box pass. And I am so glad that you got it. That That makes my day, Jade. Thank you. So Jade, if you want to play along, if you want to fly along now, um, feel free to, and, and don't feel bad if you don't know how to fly. Um, I've had people fly with me for their very first flight and did they struggle? Yes, but you learn. But only if you want to, if you don't want to, that's cool. Of course. So I'm gonna speed up a touch now. I've been flying really, really slow. And uh, just just for time's sake, I am going to speed up just a little bit. So um, the rest of the week, let's talk about the rest of the week stream. Tomorrow, we'll be flying in New Zealand. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. We'll be in the mountains of New Zealand tomorrow. Uh, and then Friday, we'll be in the Canadian Rockies. I'm super looking forward to that. Okay, so Jade, in the world map, in the world map, um, scroll around on the map till you find South America. And then you'll see a round circle with a plane icon. That is most likely me. Hover over it and it'll show you if it's me or not. Click it and then it'll say set as departure. Uh, have I been skidding my tires? Yes, I have, says Go. I love the Kit Fox. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Um, when Dwarven Egg, it, it's all Dwarven Egg's fault that I've ditched the 172. Um, when Dwarven Egg told me about the Kit Fox, I, I was like, you know, I just didn't think I'd enjoy it. I didn't want to spend the money on it. But wow, it's, it's, it's everything and more that Dwarven Egg said it would be. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't quite learned how to wash my tires in the river yet. I did, I did wash, I tried to wash them yesterday in a river and uh, flipped. So still learning things. Yeah, it's really fast, Boxy. It is super fast. Oh, Muet, you landed at uh, SCDV. That's it for you. Have a nice day. Muet, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all... Dude, you're almost always flying along. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day as well. Thank you for being here. And see you tomorrow, I hope. All right, I'm going to drop on down pretty low now. There we go. So I'm just trying to get my pitch adjusted now so I can fly low and fast. There we go. Fun fact, Antarctic pilots skim over the snow th for 30 seconds before landing to make sure there's no ravines underneath where they're landing. Oh, wow. That actually makes perfect sense. That's that really that is truly is interesting, Twitch Town. And yes, it's really fast. I've got a mod, so normally um, normally it cruises at about 85 knots, but I did add a mod um, which comes with the plane. It's where it has a higher a higher cruising speed, and so I sped up a little bit just for time's sake because the the wife wants to go shopping this afternoon, and I told her I would do that so gonna speed things up just a touch we still have a long ways to go but this way i can spend some time with the wife this afternoon oh you fixed it nice yeah the stage two yeah the stage two that's it oh it was a glitch okay fire sandy hey fire sandy i'm trying to find just that sweet spot where it flies steady and level but it is hard to fly this low to the ground because the train is so um, so uh, bumpy. Very cool scenery. It's it's gorgeous. It's it really is gorgeous. Learned that from the Twin Otter documentation on the Ar Arctic Antarctic map mod. Not sure. Oh, cool. It is hard to fly low from outside the cockpit. Yes, it is. Um, but on this, this week, oh, you gotta go. No problem at all, Ice Man. Thank you. Yeah, Chile is a cool country. Um, so this week, I decided to uh, fly outside for the majority of the time because, um, because of the beauty of where we're flying. It's kind of hard to enjoy. I mean, you can definitely enjoy it right here. Look at how beautiful that is. And yes, you can enjoy it from inside the cockpit, but outside the cockpit um, on, a, on a scenic flight like this, to me, is way more beautiful. Plus, I get to see everybody that's flying along also. Um, where, are you, where are you, King Air? Is your number one plane? Small planes are too slow. Hit full on my screen? Uh, Shotgun, what do you mean hit hit full on my screen? What do you mean hit full? So I am playing at full screen. Oh, 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 I'm with you. Um, top left. Wait a minute. Stream on, stream on. Creepy Kurt, thank you for the unlock. Oh, dude, heck yeah. Top right. Oh, it's full. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. Thank you for that. Yeah, I do have the split panel mod in. So let me jump. Let me get in here really quick. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Creepy Kirk, thank you for the unlurk. And thank you for lurking, by the way. I appreciate that. And for anybody else uh, who's been coming in and out, I know it's a work day for a lot of people, but if you can... And if you want to, feel free to jump in and fly along with us. Uh, anyone is welcome. I have a slogan here. No rules, just flight is my slogan. 
It's what we do here. It's what we do. Fly what you want to, fly how you want to. You like the live weather? Yeah, I like the live weather too. The only reason I changed from the live weather is because it was there was just too much snow on the ground and it really kind of killed the scenery for me. It did for me anyways. Oh yeah, you love the mist and the low clouds. Yeah, I do too. I like the low clouds and I like the mist. Um, but um, I just didn't like everything being snow covered. The water looks bad with live weather. Oh, shot. Ah, shot of undone. All right. Sent me a friend request. Let me accept it really quick. There we go. Sent and accepted. Thank you for that. And sorry, Cappy Stick. Or whoever that was doing the uh, formation fly with me. I was going to not accept friend requests during stream anymore, but uh, then I decided, you know, if I was flying along, I would want someone to accept mine, you know, right then, just so I could go ahead and spawn in. So, yeah, I, I will continue the practice of accepting friend requests while I'm live on stream. Even though it does mess up the formation flying. Sorry, Cappy Stick, but you're used to that anyways. The other reason I do it is because you're used to it. All right, so the river is going to split in just a minute. Whoa, I thought that was my shadow. I thought that was my shadow, but it wasn't. I was about to hit the ground. That wasn't you. Okay. Whoever it is. Sorry for messing you up. Oh, there's Cappy Stick right there in the uh, helicopter. Oh, Boxy, that's you formation flying. Very good job with that. It's really difficult to formation fly with me. Cappy Stick can attest to that. So the river is going to split right here. And I'm going to go to the left. There's a little town right here. A city or whatever it's called. I'm going to go to the left right here. It's a very realistic helicopter. It's the uh, H-145. I do have it. And that helicopter truly is realistic. I've tried to fly it. I may have to buy it. You're going to shoot off as you're going live in an hour? Yeah, no problem at all for the love. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you always coming in and out. Thank you. But that's okay. That's okay. The blades don't rotate. It's it's all about frame rate. If I change my, fl my frame rate, they would rotate. Just kidding. All right, so we'll uh, we'll fly this for uh, just a minute, and then we've got to uh, then we got to change again. Oh wait, I didn't see that. I thought it was going to be a harder turn. Let me look and see where this river leads. It may end up going to where to where we were where we're heading, anyways. No, it doesn't. Okay. So we're gonna have to climb in just a minute. We're gonna have to climb over the mountain. And then we'll go back into a valley again, um, following the flight plan. Yes, that's it, Twigshound. Yes. Although that's really not it, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, did you? Shot done. Dude, that's awesome. Wow. It's a very, yeah, it's, it, it's definitely not what's happening, but you're a 55 steady on ultra. What? Wow. What, um, what GPU do you have? So I'm on high. I don't, I don't, I haven't tried it on ultra yet. All right, y'all, I'm going to change now. We're going to, we're going to go right here. We got to go to the right now and climb over this. Yeah. Climb over this mountain. I do have discord exclamation discord will get you there. Oh, really? 
3080 and you tuned it to OC safely. Oh, nice. So I've got a 1080. Uh, mine's a 1080 and it, it really runs very smoothly. It runs the same very smoothly. I mean, I can see the dust. I don't think I've had anyone try to kick water up, but I've seen I've seen the dust in high settings with a 1080. But I don't think I've had a chance to see the um, to see the water mist anyways. All right, so we'll fly. We are going to come up, come up on a river in just a minute. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a 1080, and and as I say that, the it, it freezes on me. There we go. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm holding steady. I'm holding a steady 60 frames per second stream anyways. It does an amazingly good job. Really, really good job. And I've thought, I've, yeah, I have thought about going to a two PC setup for stream because I've got another uh, PC case. Uh, and I've got a motherboard. So all I would need to do is buy another graphics card and um, I've got RAM memory already for it. So I would need a graphics card and a CPU. And that's pretty much it. I've got everything else I need, but I'm not going to pay these super high prices right now uh, for, um, for a... Um, GPU. I'll wait till things calm down a little bit with the chip shortage. Uh, exactly, Twix Sound. Yes, yes, it is. Hence the reason I'm not going to run a two PC setup anytime soon. Oh, look at that reveal shot. That was sick. And now we're coming up on a river. And I will fly the river again. Still struggling to take off and stay airborne. Even with easy assist. Yeah, so Jade, um, just practice. And, and if you can't fly along with me today, of course, I totally understand that. But practice and you'll get you'll get really, really good at it. <laughs> Tom, I have stolen all of Jess's mods. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you're, you spent $4,500 on your PC back in September and then you lost your job because of the chip shortage. Oh, dude. But thankfully, you're working again now. Very good. Very good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear you're working again. So my regular streaming schedule... Yeah, selling cars, chip short. Oh, oh, you sell cars? What? what? Yeah, shotgun. I'm a uh, dude. I'm in the automotive industry. I'm in the automotive industry. What do you? Um, what? What cars do you sell? What brand? So my background is uh, is General Motors cars. My wife works at a Kia dealership. Lexus Toyota for six years and that Nissan. My wife does work at a Nissan dealership. She's a receptionist for uh, Kia. So Kia, the, the Kia store and the Nissan store that they own are side by side. And she's the receptionist for both. She answers the phone for both of them. Yeah, dude, it's a small world. Although our local Toyota store is not owned by the same group, but yeah, that's really awesome. And I grew up, um, I was a technician at a uh, Chevrolet Mazda store and then was service manager at a General Motors store for 14 years. And now I teach students how to, how to diagnose and repair cars. That's what I do. So yeah, I totally understand what you're talking about with no cars on the lot. And yeah, that's tough. 
That's tough. I don't see how salesmen have made it um, this long without cars. So does your um, shotgun, does your dealer pay you a draw whenever it's slow? Do you get a draw each month or how does it work when it's super slow and there's no cars? Okay, and I was before I before I realized you were a salesman and I started talking about cars. I was going to talk about my normal screaming, 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 my normal streaming schedule. So uh, my normal streaming schedule is Monday, Tuesday and Saturday mornings. I stream at 8 a.m. starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time, uh, which is 1 p.m. Zulu or um, Greenwich Mean Time. And then Friday evenings, I stream starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time, uh, which is 1 a.m. Zulu or Greenwich Mean Time. I usually stream for three or four hours at a time. But this week, I'm on spring break because I'm a teacher. I'm on spring break. And so I wanted to dedicate this week to, um, to streaming, building the community a little bit more. But also wanted to give back to the world by supporting a nonprofit and so I chose a nonprofit called Heart Support. So whatever you're struggling with, whatever it may be, Heart Support can help. Heart Support is for you. Um, they have a Twitch channel. They have a Discord. They have a website. They've got a YouTube channel. Go visit one of them. Exclamation HS will get you their links. It'll also give you a, a um, donation link. So if you can and you want to, Please donate to them. They're an amazing charity. Good group of people. Very, very, um, they're, 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 um, uh, very supportive of me as a streamer. Yeah. Irish wake. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, Jim fish. Oh, you crashed trying to get your GPS to work. Oh, that sucks. You gotta go feed the dog anyways. Okay. Yeah. If you can come back and I'm still streaming, dude, just jump right in. You know what to do. So tomorrow morning, we'll be starting out in New Zealand and I'm super excited about New Zealand. New Zealand is such a beautiful country, a beautiful island. I'm really looking forward to flying in New Zealand and we'll fly the mountains of New Zealand, very similar to what we're doing here. Just doing some bush flying. And then Friday, Friday will be uh, the Canadian Rockies. Uh, Dwarven Egg, if you're still here, and I know I know you may you may be lurking or whatever, uh, but if you're still here, uh, were you able to figure out the issue with the um, with the airports with the add-on stuff? I meant to have already texted you and asked you that. And normally I don't fly inside the, I mean, I normally fly inside the cockpit. I normally don't fly outside like I am today, but I'm just doing this so that I can enjoy the beauty of it. And we can see, you know, everybody that's flying along. Yes, East USA server. And also Jade go into on the world map up on the top right hand corner. It says weather or something like that or conditions or something. I don't remember exactly what it says. Um, click on that. Make sure multiplayer is on. Yeah, boat cars. I love the way they do the boat cars where there's a, uh, there's a bridge or the road right beside the water and they have the cars in the water, right? Boat cars. There is such a thing as a boat car. We can see them in the sim. We know there is then. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. There we go. Let me scroll out. All right, so we're going to follow. Yeah, we'll just follow this creek, all this river, all the way out to the end until it opens up into a lake. We'll actually fly right by an airport. This will take us right beside an airport. I'm not going to stop at that airport, but it's going to take us right beside an airport. But we'll just continue following this, uh, this water all the way. So I'm going to get back low again. I've 
somehow increased my altitude even higher. Get down and dirty. There we go. Hey, TMH Nathan, how's it going, my friend? Nathan is another flight sim streamer and also does a variety of other things as well. Uh, farming, uh, F1 racing. Welcome, Nathan. I don't know why your shout out isn't working. Hmm. I thought it worked yesterday for you when you came in. Automatic shout out. But let me go ahead and give you a shout out. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Very good. I'm very proud of you, Nathan. Very sweet. Nathan is going to be getting married very soon. Congratulations, I this, Nathan. Uh, I think this world tour is going to take me like so long. I think this is like 30 something flights already. See, Shotgun is in the Kit Fox too and is actually pulling away from me. They're going so fast. I love this plane. That's okay, Nathan. A lot of a lot of my clips are as well, so don't feel bad. It's just the way clips are. Yeah, thank you very much, Nathan, for the kind words. I appreciate it. Thank you for being proud of me. Dropping the bass. Thank you for dropping the bass, Nathan. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Uh, let me just say, Flight Sim and the Flight Sim community and all of y'all have just been very, very kind to me. It's been it's been amazing. Been a quite an awesome ride. So we're going to turn. Ooh, I'm going to try to turn left without crashing. So we'll turn to the left just a little bit. And then there's an inlet. There's an inlet here uh, where the river is going to it's going to be a, probably a creek, actually a creek size inlet. Wait a minute. I'm missing it. Where is this? Oh, crap. Am I am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. This sorry everybody this is the way we need to go right here the inlet is over this way my bad totally for those of you flying along it's you know typically typical scruffy manner there so right where that cell tower is we're gonna climb and then it'll be a river and we'll follow it all the way out. So yeah, it'll change back into the river after we climb here. Sorry, everybody. I was trying to figure it out. My uh, little nav map was zoomed way too close. So I couldn't really tell exactly where to go, but this is it. Sheesh. Sheesh. I need more coffee. That's what's up. That's what's up is coffee. Oh, Bison has loaded in. Welcome, Bison. Good to see you again. I'm pretty sure Bison is flying with us. Bison has flown with us before. Kim! Yes! Yes, Kim. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Yes, I shaved yesterday morning before stream because we hit our goal. We hit our goal Monday, and I said if we hit our goal, I'd shave, and I, I was true to my word. Average Kim, how are you doing? Really nice to see you. And yeah, uh, Boxy Buffalo, I highly recommend it. It's not necessary, but I highly recommend it. Oh, Bison, is that's right, Twixion. Yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me, and thank you for jumping in and flying. I'm going to make you type a lot now that you're flying just to troll you. I'm going to make you answer a lot of things while you're flying. Oh, thank you, Boxy. I, I truly do appreciate it. Tell, tell all your friends. Tell all your friends and family and your cousins and nieces. And I'm just kidding. I appreciate it. <laughs> Twitch uh, so the average Kim, let me give Kim a shout out. The average Kim is a, uh, is a variety streamer. And oh my gosh, you want to talk about a high energy stream. Very fun, very, very fun streamer. Uh, her husband is who I credit for the addiction to flight simming. Uh, I think it was his. His was the first stream that I saw. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I cannot Airport. sing. I'm so sorry. Airport. That was awful. Enjoy. 
<laughs> a singing stream. What? Kim, what's it going to take to get you to do a singing stream for us? Sarah's the average Kim. And like I said, it was her husband uh, who is the Kung Fu Kangaroo that started my addiction to flight simming. I credit him for that. It's all his fault. Oh, Kim, you haven't gotten used to it yet. So, uh, <laughs> well, that didn't sound very nice. <laughs> you could have taken that the wrong way. Um, <laughs> it took me a long time to get used to my own voice, but it doesn't bother me anymore. It used to bother me, but hearing myself in my headphones cured me of that. After a while, it took a little while, but I did get used to it. But I, yeah, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. It took me a while to get used to your voice too, Kim. Nah, I'm just picking. Ah, oh, words come so hard to me. Words come so um, hard to me sometimes. I struggle, I struggle with words. <laughs> roger, roger, what's our vector, Victor? Uh, Boxy Buffalo, thank you for that. Tam the OG always, like during stream, she'll be texting me, dad. Did you really just say what you said? <laughs> Tam texted me the other day during stream and she said, Dad, did you really just say that? And then I, then I, you know, kind of stepped back and I realized what I said. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I guess I really did say that. Rayos, what is going on? How are you doing, Rayos? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well today. Nice to see you today. Uh, if you want to fly along with us, come on in and fly if you can. We're uh, we're flying in Chile, the country of Chile in uh, south southwestern South America. It's a beautiful country here. I've got snow turned on just roger, a roger. little bit. Rayos, thank you for that uh, airplane. Yeah, so if you can fly alone, jump on in. Heck yeah, fly with us. Come fly. Come fly the friendly skies. Although that's not my slogan. My slogan is no rules, just right. Just flight. No rules, just flight. No rules, just just right is outback. What? I'm stealing all the logo, all the slogans today. All right open water now for just a short period of time well, there we go We're doing some bush flying bush flying today in the kit fox you tried to pull the same maneuver and you dropped out of the sky oh it happens it happens um depending on what you're flying if you yeah if you go too fast Oh, Reos, the next flight is tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning, starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'll be flying in New Zealand. It will be beautiful. Oh, Bison, good flying there, Bison. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll be in New Zealand tomorrow um, doing some bush flying in the mountains. And then Friday, we'll be in the Canadian Rockies. So this week is the this, this is Scruffy Spring Break Charity World Tour is what we're doing. Doing some bush, bush flying while I'm on spring break. Raising money for an awesome charity as, at the same time. We got some music that would be very um, appropriate for if we were flying in Scotland or somewhere like that. Oh, are you up? Jade, are you up? You have a cat inbound? Oh, a cat. I thought that meant you were up flying. I'm going to turn sideways. My legs are... I need to stretch my legs. Oh, it's cool, man. I, I really, really... I just love flying so very much. And if, if I can make a difference in the world by helping a charity, then, then I'm down for it. And then these, these beautiful flight plans, um, it's, it's been, it's been gorgeous flights every day. Uh, Monday by far, Monday was my favorite flight ever by far. 
Monday was Irish Wake's um, Grand Canyon tour, and it was amazing. Uh, yesterday was uh, Taiwan. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. I made that one. It was. It was. It was pretty cool. My favorite party yesterday was um, Taipei. The capital of Taiwan was amazing. And then uh, today's is. I don't know. Today's was my flight plan. Yesterday. I mean, tomorrow's is my flight plan. And then Fridays is kind of a combination of them. Yeah, washing tires is 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 tricky. Oh, thank you, Irish Wake. It's it's really been cool. Such amazing. Uh, yeah, it, it works. But uh, in the Kit Fox, if you hit them too hard, you'll actually flip. Oh yeah, it works. But I flipped it too doing that. I've crashed. So I'm gonna try not to uh, dip my. Yeah, I'm not gonna dip my 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 uh, wheels into the water on purpose today oh no you were flying until your cat made you crash no jade i should have turned around and looked to see you flying with me sorry see so yeah, how we got it still got a nice little cloud of of uh people flying back here a, cl a cloud of crowd a crowd cloud a cloud a crowd yeah that what i'm saying you know what i'm saying one of those things flying along today it's been just beautiful the whole week the support of the channel the support of uh heart support has been really really just heartwarming heartwarming this week I'm gonna speed up just a little bit more and then bring my trim down like where I'm at speed up just a little bit more there we go I'm trying to just skim the water trying to get everything adjusted the the um in the rpm of the plane the, the speed of the plane and the pitch trim trying to get it just right where I'm just skimming the water and going a little bit faster than it was so coming up we'll take this turn to the left uh, we'll go to the left and then let's see from there there's a channel we'll just continue following the water it's going to be wide like it is now and then uh then we'll have the airport so we'll follow this channel to the left and then go straight and then uh there'll be an airport after a few miles looks like 18 nautical miles is an airport lurk i appreciate you hanging out during your lunch break dude uh thank you for that enjoy the rest of your day at work and uh safe driving have i hope you have a safe day at work if you drive to work i don't know but i hope you have a safe rest of your day also thank you so much for that i'm going to jump into the cockpit now just to see oops just to see what this looks like in the cockpit i don't think i've ever flown this fast this this low and been in cockpit view before pretty awesome pretty sweet look at that view is that not just an amazing view the cockpit views are so much more oh no what the cockpit views are so much more beautiful um sitting in the cockpit you can see so much more detail and so much more beautiful than the external view whoa you flew under me am i that high um oh yep i guess i am Higher than I thought I was. But I like the external view because you can see everything that way. You're actually still trying to figure out how to get you to show up. You had it set to show live players, but you weren't seeing anyone. Okay, so just make sure, yeah, you did. You did, Twix Down. So make sure that you're on, um, you're on US East, right? And you have multiplayer tags on. Jade, you're in my Discord, aren't you? I think you are in my Discord. If you are, I've I've got a channel for Microsoft Flight Sim Help. 
so i took screenshots of all the stuff all the setup stuff so that you can see everyone so you might want to if you're in my discord jump into discord really quick and i think it's ms let's see i think you are as well i'm pretty sure you are i think it's msfs help maybe let's see Yeah, MSFS help and questions should be where I've got all the screenshots of all of the settings. So jump in there really quick and check those settings. And um, I think that'll help you. And it's helped a few people in the past. Oh, you are? Okay, good, 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 good. Sorry to keep repeating myself. Okay, no problem. So this airport was initially going to be a full stop, but I think I'm just going to keep on going right by it. Y'all feel free to stop there if you need to. Rolly Mall, what's going on? How are you, Rolly Mall? Good to see you today. Really nice seeing you. Hope you are well. I hope you are well, my good friend. Rolly Mall is another uh, flight sim streamer, good friend of the community. Let me give Rolly Mall a shout out really quick. Rolly, nice to see you as always. Hope things are going good for you. I think it was rat hole in the kit fox. Looks like slewing. And I absolutely love the Australian accent of Rolly Mall and all our other, all of our other um, Australian friends. I love Australian accents. So uh, I love to, oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Rolly Mall. So I love to hang out in my Australian friends channels just so I can hear them talk. And it's funny because a lot of them say the same thing about me, but I love, I love to hear you talk. need to get back low again I'm, i sped up just a little bit and i which which brought my plane up so now i'm trying to adjust my pitch trim again there we go to account for the difference and i think i'm good now i'm going down i'm going down i'm going down there we go just to pitch up just a little bit just about to touch the water there we go well now i'm going back up again sheesh The Mikilo Mike in the E300, sweet. So we're flying here in uh, Chile. Uh, Rolly Mall is where we're at. We're in South America, the southwestern end of South America. Fly in the country of Chile. Um, I think we're kind of right on the border of, uh, of Chile, if I'm not mistaken. And I could be. I'm not real good with geography, but uh, anyways. That's what we're doing today. It started out just absolutely beautiful, which it still is very beautiful. But we were doing some really tight bush flying in in the river and now it's opened up for now but the scenery is absolutely gorgeous and uh it's very exhilarating to fly this low and this fast over the water is just amazing Oh, very cool. I thought you were about to hit the water and flip. You did very good. Whoever that was, great, great job with that water touch and go. And I see Fire Sandy up there. It looks like Fire Sandy has loaded in at this airport that's coming up. Uh, so we got Cappy Stick. We got Bison, uh, who is um, Twitch Sound. We got Rat Hole and Crunch 888. And Lima Kilo Mike also flying along with us today. And... Uh, 
who else who else was it that was flying along um trying to think of who this is right there there we go we're fixing to be able to see alexandra alexandra who is yep who is also in chat yeah boxy buffalo all i could think of was cow sorry about that all i could think of was cow or bison and i'm sorry i am so sorry boxy buffalo i just cannot think of your username you're a new member of the community and i apologize for that but my mind went to my mind went to cow sorry so yeah it's boxy buffalo flying along new new member of the community jumped right in flying along with us and i love it that's what anyone can do anyone is welcome to jump in and fly at any time it's what we do here So I'm trying to pick out if there's another river valley we can follow as we make our way to the final destination. Um, it's going to be a little tricky. We're going to be flying over some mountains very soon. Hey, Socha or Soka, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for that first time chat. How are you today? uh it's showing nighttime live weather really it's showing it shouldn't be nighttime there i am doing fantastic thank you so much for that first time chat how are you doing are you a flight simmer if you are a flight simmer and you'd like to fly along with us um everyone is welcome the closest the airport is showing up here on the upper right hand corner uh we're about to be there Feel free to load in and fly along if you'd like to. If not, hang out in chat and, lurk and hang out with us. Whatever you'd like to do. Oh, it's so a shot. Shot Van Dunn has loaded in. Shot Dunn back with us. Thank you, Shot Dunn. And I'm out of coffee. Sheesh. And there is Jade. I see you, Jade. Jade also has loaded in. So now that the sun's out, I can see how close I am to the water. I'm really close to the water, but I love it. Oh, shotgun sweet. Socha, thank you for that follow. Socha, thank you so much for that follow. I truly do appreciate it. Um, I'm Scruffy Tam. I've been gaming for years since the 1970s. I've been streaming since September of 2020, and I've been flight simming since August. Well, actually since September of 2021, I've been uh, streaming flight simming. Welcome to the channel though. Thank you so much for that first time chat and for just hanging out. I appreciate that. Oh, shot done. Yeah, uh, dude, I can't wait to see it. Oh, thank you, Socha. I appreciate that. that. I try to be, I try to be. I'm not very educational. I'm not real, real knowledgeable about flight. I know some stuff. Frankie Stein is back. What's up, Frankie? Can you get some socks? Of course you can get socks. So something I do in real life, and I carry that over into my streams, is I always wear crazy mismatch socks. I'm going to fly over the airport. I'm not going to land here, but I'll fly over it. I always wear crazy mismatch socks in real life, and I carry that over into my streams. I have a, um, a sock cam. I'm the only streamer that I have seen who's got a dedicated sock cam. So I, if you type in exclamation mark socks, I'll turn on my sock cam. I'll turn on my sock light. On the right foot, I've got my taco socks. On the left foot, I've got my burrito socks. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you so much for that, Frankie. Oh, so I don't mind you asking at all. Dom, Dom, what's up, Dom? Thank you for that um i don't mind you asking i am 53 years old 53. Um, i know it's hard to tell because i don't have any hair on my face right now i typically have a goatee or a beard uh, but i shaved my goatee off because we hit our goal this week this week we're raising money for a charity and we hit our goal so i said if we hit our goal i would shave my beard and uh true to my word true to my word we hit the goal and i shaved my beard a goatee so i will have a goatee in a few weeks promise promise all right now back to the river 
back to the river. We'll fly over here to the left, fly over a lake, and then rivers again. You're very welcome, Socha. Very welcome. Thank you for following. Where am I from? So I am in the United States, in South Carolina to be exact. Oh, you sent me the livery file. Thank you, Shotgun. Thank you very much for that. By the way, oh, you're from Czech. You're from the Czech Republic. Cool. Welcome from the Czech Republic. I can't, I can't say that I've ever had anyone from Czechoslovakia. That is amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I've got people from all over the country, but I, I can't remember anyone ever saying they were from from uh, Czechoslovakia. So that, that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, if anyone would like to get the livery for my plane for their kit fox, um, it's it's pretty awesome. It's a special one just to commemorate the heart support fundraiser we're doing this week. It's got heart support on the engine cover, heart support on the tail. Got my tail number. Got my socks. Uh, it is at flightsim.to. So just search. Oh, you got to go? No problem at all, Sasha. I'm sorry. Sorry you had to go so quick. I hope I didn't offend you. But uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. If, if anyone is interested in my livery. Uh, so this is how you get it, Fire Sandy. This is how you get it right here. That link, click the link, and that'll take you to all the liveries. Uh, so I have liveries for the Cessna 172. I have them for the Kodiak and for the Kit Fox now. So that'll get you access to all the liveries. And uh, a gracious member of the community, uh, Ewald, who did all my liveries, um, did this livery for me also and just gave it to me. Oh, there's about seven of you. I have had as many as uh, close to 30. I've had close to 30 flying along with me before. That That's awesome, though. Seven is cool. And I know it's hard because it's a work day. Yeah. Oh, man. I've, I've turned around and had a cloud before where I couldn't even see any names because of all the people. And I never know when I'm going to when I'm going to turn around and see a ton of people or just a few. And it's it's awesome either way. But the more people that fly along, the more energy it gives me, the happier I am. Uh, but I'm perfectly fine with whatever. If it's just me flying, it doesn't matter because I love flight. So yeah, let me spin around and see who all is flying well before we get into the brush again. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, Lima Kilo Mike, Viking, Tony, uh, which is Jade, uh, Crunch, and Shot Van Dunn. And then a uh, Cappy Stick and Alexandra. And this is, um, ah, just had a brain fart. Somebody late for delivery. What's going on? How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on late for delivery? I am doing fantastic. Really, really good to see you. I hope you're well today. It's nice to see you on, uh, you got to try Reno on the stick. Oh, Katie's Katie's once I get my stick set up. Yes, I have got to do Reno once I get my stick set up. I've got to. And late for delivery. It's always cool to see you on um, on Kev Sim Corner, also on Facebook. Really cool seeing you on there, also. But Reno on the stick would be banging. That would be awesome. Yeah, old man gaming. What's going on? How are you doing? Yeah, I've got a really nice setup. I've also got a HOTAS as well. I've got the uh, Logitech X56 uh, HOTAS unit stick and uh, throttle quadrant, uh, stick and throttle control that I'll be using soon. Jade, you're doing an amazing job. Congratulations, you're doing well. Yeah, I really enjoy Kev's, uh, I, I really like Kev's vibe. I'm not a truck simmer. I've got it. I've got I've got American Truck Simulator, but I've never even started the game. But I like hanging out in Kim in, in uh, Kev's channel. He's such a cool and chill guy. I love it. Really nice streamer. So old man gaming forever. Um, thank you for that first time chat. Are you a streamer? 
I love that name also. Love the username. You are, but not much yet. Okay, let me give you a shout out first of all, and then I'm also gonna give you a follow. And that goes for anybody else. Anybody else that's in here that's a streamer, if I have not shouted you out, I apologize. It's not on purpose. Sometimes I just forget who is a streamer and who isn't. It's part of the, the old guy thing. Oh, cool. See, I didn't realize that, Boxy. You're very welcome. You're very welcome for that. I'm all about helping other streamers. So let me get some follows really quick. Um, I'm all about helping other streamers. I love people. I love building a community. I really enjoy building a community and I, I just I just enjoy helping others and helping others build their community also. So if I can help you build the community by um, by shouting you out and following you, then uh, my job has succeeded. There we go. All right, gave both of you follows. Thank you for telling me that. You're very welcome, Boxy. Very welcome. I appreciate you jumping in and flying along like immediately. Just, you know, like you follow and then all of a sudden there you are and that's awesome. And that's what we do here. That's what we do. I'm all about supporting fellow streamers. Um, all of my streams are 100% viewer interactive. So if you wanna jump in and fly along, you don't even have to ask. Um, just, just jump in and fly with us. The closest airport is what this is up here. The SCOH is the closest airport. You can spawn in there, or if you have Microsoft Flight Sim, send me a friend request in the sim. I'll accept it, and then you can just spawn right in on me. Oh, you're doing some on-air company flights. Oh, sweet. Sweet. So I do, on Friday nights, I do Sky Park missions. Um, I'm probably going to skip this Friday. I may cancel this Friday night stream because I'm um, streaming five days in a row for as long as I've been streaming. Uh, and then streaming Friday morning and then turning around and streaming Friday night is going to be pretty tough. And uh, so I may cancel Friday night stream, but I'll still stream Saturday morning. So my regular streaming schedule. How do I find motivation to stream? Dude, I just love it. I love it. And Boxy, it's really hard to find motivation when you first start streaming or when your viewer count is low. It's really, really hard. But um, I, I just, I, my motivation is people. People motivate me. So my motivation is is people and the more people that are that are in the chat, the more people flying along, it just it really gives me energy and I love it. But um, yeah, they are long days, Frankie, for sure. But let me tell you, um, no, I'm using a normal camera. So this camera right here is a um, Sony a6500 DCLR. My sock cam is a webcam. This cam is a webcam. Um, but the only reason I'm using a DCLR is because I shoot video on the side. And so I've got a Sony, uh, I've got a uh, so Sony a 7 r also that I use. Thank you so much for that follow, old man. I appreciate that follow, old man gamer. Thank you very, very much. Um, so let me just, let me just tell you, it is very, very hard. I have been there. Almost every streamer I know, well, all, all every streamer I know has been there. Every streamer you know has been there where there is nobody in chat. We all start with zero followers. We all start with zero viewers. And it's hard. It's hard to begin with. But you just have to act like somebody's there. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So you just have to act like somebody's there. Um, and, and eventually people will be there and that's how you build the community. The other thing you, the other thing I recommend doing is just spend time in other flight sim streamers channels 
and it's really y'all i'm telling you it's super super difficult to not self-promote but don't go in another streamer's channel and self-promote without knowing that that it's okay to do so and it's okay to do that here it's okay to self-promote here i don't mind the only time it aggravates me is when someone constantly says okay um you know i'm about to stream come follow me come give me a follow hey why don't you raid me and all that stuff that that's when it gets a little irritating and i and i, I do mind self-promoting but other than that i don't mind you saying hey i'm a streamer and then i'll shout you out lima kilo mike you gotta go dude awesome lima kilo if you can join the whole time that would be sweet but i understand there's real life stuff too to do so I, I totally understand it but thank you so much for being here for so long today i really do appreciate it but uh but yeah thank you thank you for being here um i wish i wish i could wave a magic wand and help everybody but yeah you have to be respectful in other people's streams um so I'm going to I'm going to turn y'all I'm, I'm going to turn my heading because there's a river we're going to follow all the way to the end now I just I just peaked there's a river we can follow all the way to the end oh nice you're visiting your family tomorrow dude enjoy that family time Lima Kilo Mike enjoy it I'm going to enjoy time with my wife after stream is over today she's off work today it's a rare off work weekday and I'm going to spend it with her we're going to go to the next town over, do some window shopping, find something to eat. We're just going to have some scruff and Mrs. Scruff time. Uh, so you want to be Jim Fish in The Sim. Yeah, in The Sim, I'm not sure how to change your name in The Sim. In Twitch, it's super easy, but I'm not sure how to do it in The Sim. Okay, so now here's the river. We're going to follow this river all the way to the end. So this will take us all the way to the end. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's it's rare that we um, have a day during the week that we can go and just, you know, spend time with each other. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Lima Kilo, Mike. Enjoy time with your family and, and really just enjoy yourself. All right, so um, my little nav map isn't quite set for this path, so I'm going to be glancing over there at the map as I weave my way along here. Oh, you're on my six. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you for flying along, shot done. Oh, good deal, Socha. Thank you for being... <laughs> you just thought you were leaving. Pastor Russ. What the scallop? I'm Goofy Goober. Pastor Russ, thank you so much for that follow. I love your username. I love your username. Thank you so much for that follow. I am Scruffy Tam. I've been gaming since the late 1970s. I'm 53 years old. I've been streaming since September of 2020, and I've been a flight simmer on stream since September of 2021. Welcome to the channel, Pastor Russ. Oh, Sesgo, thank you for that. Yes, you know what? You're right. You are you are correct on that, Sesgo. I forgot about that. Thankfully, I've been using the username Scruffy Tam for years, so it just I happen to already have the Xbox username of Scruffy Tam, and it worked out. <laughs> so just you're here for a while. Good, good. Welcome back. I'm glad that you're here for a while. And Asocha, if you have flight sim and you can want and you can fly and you want to fly, fly along with us. And that goes for anybody else. So, uh, Pastor Russ, welcome to the channel. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you a flight sim streamer? Um, and also, are you a pastor in real life? very nice to have you here though we've got a very kind community uh welcoming to everybody i am a lover of people you haven't got microsoft flight sim awesome well that's okay so um i didn't for the longest time i didn't have it either i just watched people who played it so um enjoy the flight enjoy the flight this is pretty cool I've got to say, this is pretty awesome right here. So there's going to be some pretty tight turns. Oh, this music. This music is perfect for the tight turns. Uh, 
I'm actually going to be speaking to a group of people in real life about my flight simming and my streaming experience. Oh, you would like him? Yeah. Oh, dude. Flight sim is so awesome, Socha. It's so relaxing and beautiful. Just as, as you can tell, it's just beautiful. So yeah, Sunday, I'll be speaking to a group of people Sunday night about flight simming and about uh, streaming, actually, and about my community. I'm, I'm just, it, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yes, yeah, so it's very, it's very cool. It's very beautiful. So now we're getting back into some snow. We had a lot of snow. We flew out of it. Now we're getting back into some of it. Really, really tight turn here, everybody. This is going to be a super tight turn. Um, and we're actually going to be heading right back this direction. <laughs> that was cool. Almost stalled the plane. I got the stall warning. This, uh, Socha, this is my favorite airplane. Uh, it used to be the Cessna 172 uh, for a couple reasons because I was taking flight lessons and that was going to be the plane that I would be flying in my flight lessons was the Cessna 172. Uh, but this plane has changed my mind on what plane I love. I absolutely love the Kit Fox. This is the Kit Fox from Parallel 42. Oh, you're glad trees don't cause you to crash? That's sweet. So you, so you have, uh, you have crashing off, which is a good thing. For a new, for a new flyer, yeah, you need to, you need to fly with, with all the helps. But it won't be long, Jade. You'll be surprised at how, at how quickly you become a good flyer, and then you can turn uh, full realism on. So now we're gonna turn to the right. We're gonna turn to the right, and the river splits off. There we go. Yeah, my passengers, probably probably those of y'all on stream. So now you do need to go? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Socha. I appreciate you being here. I look forward to seeing you soon. But yeah, Jade, you'll be surprised at how quickly you learn uh, how to fly, and, and then it's, it's super easy. You can fly like me. Well, speaking of trees, clip those trees. See ya, Socha. Bye-bye. Bye bye, new friend. I oh, know, Frankie, that's what I love about it. That's what I love about the plane is how well it maneuvers. I mean, the Cessna, I would be, I'd be in a million pieces on the ground right now in the Cessna. And I have done that before. Oh no, Boxy Buffalo crashed. What's my weather setting? So I've got it on, um,. I've got it on scattered clouds. I'm pretty sure it's scattered clouds and uh, four inches of snow. And then everything else, I just left it alone. So I'm pretty sure it's scattered clouds is what I chose. Whatever is right above high clouds or whatever the technical term is for the high clouds. Um, whatever is right above it and then like four inches of snow and that's it. Whoa, that mountain's coming up quick. There we go. Good stuff right there. I love this plane. Oh, Boxy, I'm glad to have made to have made your day so much better, dude. I mean, I seriously. That's that's one of the reasons why I stream. If I can help someone's day be better, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for it. Um, and that's why I chose Heart Support as the charity to stream for this week. Yeah, Frankie Stein, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that compliment. I want it to be a cool, safe place for anybody to come and hang out, regardless of, you know, what you believe or what you play or don't play or whatever. I want everyone to, to, to come here, feel safe, and hang out and just have fun. Do I have any pets? I do. I do have pets. I've got one. I've got a hairless Chinese crested dog. 
nervous. Shotgun, yes. dude, thank you so much for that First sub. Time. I appreciate no, that. I've been nervous lots of times. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for, oh no, Jade, did you crash? No. Thank you so much for that sub, Shotgun. I truly do appreciate that. And uh, sorry for getting you confused with a student the other day. David. David, thank you so much for that first time chat. Dude, thank you so very much for the first time chat. Thank you for that compliment. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's it's what I do. It's what I'm here for. Oh, no, you had a CTD Hello. that outdated pushback. Infinite Fireman is here also. <laughs> shot yeah it was pretty funny shot done but i've got a student who i'm pretty sure i thought that's what they said but it was it was pretty funny it was hilarious oh you turned too low no oh so sorry jade sorry you crashed load back in though all you have to do is spawn in on me you know what to do now and i'm like this i'm like this in real life I'm, I'm just chilling, relaxed in real life also. Um, you know, what you see on stream is what you get off stream. I really, really, really hope I can make it to Flight Sim Expo, SF, excuse me, FS Expo. Once they announce the date and the, the location, I'll know if I can make it, but I wanna make it to Flight Sim Expo. Um, and then y'all can meet me or whoever's there can meet me in real life. Hmm. You're from Ontario. Cool. But it would be really cool now that I've become a flight simmer. It'd be really cool to see some of the bigger flight simmers and hang out. Uh, yeah, Frankie Stein. It was in San Diego last year. It was in San Diego, California last year. I don't know if they do it, you know, different places in the world or what or whatnot. But yeah, I know it's in San Diego this year or last year. It was excuse me last year. They haven't announced the, the date or the place yet. But as soon as they do, um, my Twitch payout is going to start going towards uh, an FS Expo fund. Yeah, so TwitchCon, I seriously, dumb, I seriously considered, I really considered going to TwitchCon, and I would love it, but I feel like, I feel like Microsoft Flight Sim is such a niche within Twitch that I would be lost. Uh, but FS Expo, with it being all about Flight Sim, and it's not just Microsoft Flight Sim, it's, you know, DCS and, and um, all the other, you know, Flight Sim programs. Um, then then I would have my place there, I feel like. And it's not, y'all, it's not that I feel like I'm all that. Because I'm not. I'm just a person, like everybody else is. But, um, but I feel like I would be more known there. I would know more people there and I would be better known at a at a flight sim expo than i would be at twitchcon all right so now it's going to open back up to another lake it will fly the lake for a short period of time and then we'll fly back into an inlet in a valley yeah you don't go to chevy car meet with a honda right <laughs> exactly yeah, so TwitchCon, I mean, I feel like TwitchCon would be all about the huge streamers that have thousands of, you know, thousands upon thousands of followers, you know, tens of thousands of followers and thousands upon thousands of viewers, live viewers too. Um, that would be the place for them. The place for Flight Sim is, is definitely me. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be really cool, Jade. I mean, uh, Dom. Meeting there. And yeah, so back back when I was doing uh, variety streaming, I was totally, totally, you know, thinking about TwitchCon. But now that I found a niche, now that I have a niche, um, 
and a nephew. I've got a niche and a nephew. Um, I would totally, you know, flight sim expose where it's at. You just finished sorting 1,000 Pokemon cards, dude. What? That's awesome. Bowl of cornflakes. What's going on? How are you? Welcome to the channel. All right, I'm gonna fly over this way to get to this lake and then we're getting close to the end. Yeah, much better connections. It, it'll be a good time to uh, to make some connections. Um, I know a ton, I know a ton of the flight simmers and and a lot of people know me in the flight sim community. So um, it, it'll be it'll be pretty awesome to uh, to network with them and to get to know them in real life. It'll be, it'll, it'll be really, really cool. All right, let me pull up little nav map show you what's up so here's a little nav map we're gonna be flying this um this lake or, or big river whatever it is we'll fly it until we get right here and then uh we'll fly up fly up here up this valley uh take a turn right here and then fly down the river until we get to this airport and then unfortunately this is our airport that's our final airport. TwitchCon's a good reason to be in California in October. Yeah, to get some sun. Uh-huh, all the sun. Oh, you're going to be in the Caribbean next week? Congratulations, that'll be awesome. You only have this 2000 rig because you got rocked on your motorbike. They admitted fault, so you got 2000. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Jim Fish, I hate that you had to do that. To, to get the rig but that's pretty awesome that you got the rig so if you don't follow cia cowboy jim fish look up cia cowboy he uh for a living is a professional escort a professional motorcade escort for funerals it's what he does he was recently hit by someone and it broke his collarbone um and he is hoping for a settlement too where he can get some pretty cool stuff so uh yeah I know what you mean, Jim Fish. So CIA Cowboy's a really cool guy. Um, does some amazing things, too. He's doing um, Thunder Over the Tropics, March the 29th, which is, uh, it's going to be a time of remembrance for, uh, for Veterans Day. Uh, he's going to be flying over. It's I think it's a four hour flight plan. We'll be flying over Vietnam and we'll have some real life Vietnam veterans uh, there also. <laughs> Jade. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. I was the same way. Any place I any place I landed or crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, an airport. Yep. I know what you mean. No worries. No worries. So who's still hanging in here? We got Alexandra. Yeah, Jim Fish for sure. It is. It is a long. It's a long ways. Uh, we got Jade still. Viking Crunch, and I, I'm assuming this is still Cappy Stick. Could be wrong. No. Yeah, yeah, that could be Cappy Stick. Old Man Gaming still there. Yeah, not flying with me. Yep, that's who I was looking for. I was looking to see who was still flying. Yep. That's okay. I say that a lot when I said, let's look and see who's flying. Let's see who's still with me. That's what I mean is who's flying. But yeah, no worries. No worries. Uh, but you're always welcome to fly at any time. Even if I'm not streaming. If we're friends in the sim and you see me on, uh, jump in and fly along with me. I was surprised one time. I was preparing for my 1,000 1, follower celebration stream I was doing. And I looked up. I looked up. And uh, Infidel Fireman was flying along with me. Iceman was flying along with me. And it seems like someone else also joined in on the flight. And I was just testing out a flight plan. So yeah, if you see me flying in Microsoft Flight Sim and you have it, jump in and fly with me. Anytime, I don't have to be streaming for you to fly. I just, like I said, I love people. 
I enjoy streaming, I enjoy flying, so there's that. And thank you, uh, Dom, for that Discord shout out. I do have a Discord. I'm pretty active on there. I used to not be a real active on Discord, but as the channel's grown, I, I'm pretty active on Discord. Everything changed when the firemen attacked. Yes, yes, it did. All right, let's see here. So, whoa, no, 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 not trees, not trees. There we go. So that was the wife. She's kind of ready to go. I'm going to take a shortcut. <laughs> I am sorry, everybody. I'm going to take a shortcut. Oh, no, shoot, not that shortcut. Dang, that was close. I'm going to take a shortcut over the mountains. So I told her I'd be yeah, I'd be done by one o'clock and it's it's 105. So I'm gonna make a quick shortcut over the mountains instead of flying the instead of flying that river. And I am so sorry, y'all. If you want to continue flying that path, please continue flying the path. But I had planned on no, this is not downloaded scenery. This is straight out of the sim. Yeah, I did see all the cars on the road and it's funny because sometimes they show up in the water too. So I am so sorry y'all for cutting things short today. Um, my plan for today was only to stream for about three or four hours, but I've flown off, uh, I've flown off the flight path a few times and that's, that's put me off schedule a little bit. So sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely want to spend time with, with, El with the, uh, with Mrs. Scruff. So we'll head on over to the airport now. You found <laughs> Jade, you found your airport. It does look pretty good. There have been some kind of weird anomalies, though. There's been some weird anomalies, bowl of cornflakes. It's not looked, uh, it's not all looked this good. Towards the beginning of stream, there was some, it was some pretty rough scenery. All right, we are climbing like crazy here. Oh, you stayed upright. Nice. Well, hey, Jade, that's a, that's a big step. Staying upright. The literal, the literal upside is you stayed literally upright. So while we're flying along, um, no, it's not. It's not. And I've said that before, you know, when people are critical of it, and it, a, a lot of people are very critical of it, but I'm not. I mean, for a game that simulates the entire world in a one-to-one -one ratio in real-time flying with real weather in real time, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So um, I'll be back tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern time, which is 1 p.m. Zulu time. I'll be back, be back then. Oh, wow, I got some wind here. Um, my normal stream, and then I'll be back Friday at the same time. My normal streaming schedule is I usually stream Monday through Friday. Excuse me. I normally stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Saturday mornings starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And then Friday nights starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time. This week I'm on spring break, so I'm doing something a little different. But um, tomorrow we'll be back 8 a.m. Eastern time. We'll fly New Zealand. This week is all about building the Scruffy community and most especially, most especially giving back to the world by, um, by giving and streaming for an awesome nonprofit called Heart Support. So if you can, if you can give this week, and a lot of people already have given it, and I thank you for that. If you can give to Heart Support, um, please consider giving. You know, any amount is very, very much appreciated by them and by me. Um, towards towards that, towards our goal. 
I do have a pretty high goal. Uh, 1500 US dollars is a, is a high goal, but I think we can reach it. But again, but again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not begging. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. I appreciate everybody that's given so far. And, and I know that some people can't. I understand that some people can't give. So that's, anyways, heart support is all about um, your mental health. I know a lot of people struggle with a lot of things in real life. And you feel like you're all alone in those struggles. You are not alone. There is people, there are people that can help. There are people that have been through what you've been through. Get the help you need. All right, so we're coming up on the airport. And then we'll find someone to raid. I'm just bringing my altitude down a little bit. Just bringing my altitude on down. Trying to keep my speed. Trying to keep from over speeding as I bring my altitude down because the airport is right there. The airport is right there. Um, and then, like I said, tomorrow morning we'll be flying in New Zealand as well. Oh, nice. So, um, heart support is not... So hearts uh, and and they told me this the the uh, the nonprofit told me this heart support is not about your physical heart so heart support is about mental health is actually what they're about um, but uh, yeah I have actually had to have surgery too old man yeah no 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 that's okay actually what what piqued my attention for heart support was um their name because i have heart issues as well i had to have two cardiac ablations uh one in 2020 and one last year so yeah when i saw the name heart support i said oh what is this and then when i saw what they're about um i'm all a, you know I'm a, I'm a lover of people and uh if i can if i can help one person change their life for the better through streaming for heart support or through just streaming in general then then you know mission accomplished Kathy stick is in a spitfire nice all right here we come coming up on the airport right now which i know the world is our runway especially in a kit fox but i do want to make it you know kind of real and land at the airport which i think i can't tell if this is the actual airport or if this is just the inlet, this is just the inlet, okay. Oh shoot, losing my headphones. There we go. Okay, I see the runway now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slow way down so I can land this kit fox without um, any any nose flips. This thing will flip you on your nose quicker than you know before you know it. You'll be on your nose. Please stick around for the raid. Uh, I always raid a, another flight sim streamer. So I'm looking now to see who to raid. I like to I like to raid smaller streamers, but usually if there's a streamer that's a good friend of mine, I'll also raid them. So I'm looking at Okan Do, is who I'm looking to raid right now. Um, it looks like he is streaming and he's probably doing some bush flying. Uh, his channel's all about bush flights, so I'm sure that's what he's doing right now. And there's the runway. Sheesh. Oh, is Viper Strike? Is Viper Strike streaming? Dude, yes, I will raid Viper Strike. I need to raid Viper. I don't think I've ever raided Viper, so if he's streaming, yes, that is who will raid. Alright. Throttle off. Throttle off. 
Oh, Viper's doing bush flying too. Yeah, we'll we'll raid Viper then. Viper's a good friend of the community. Um, very knowledgeable guy. Another successful. Butter, butter, yes. Butter, butter, yes, I'm butter, getting better butter. at this. I'm getting better at this. Thank you for that. Thank you for that butter. Um, part break. Part break. Part break. On there we go. I almost flipped it on the part break. Now let me turn things off. There we go. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting better at flying the Kit Fox. Getting better. All right, everybody. Let me uh, give some thanks really quick. Some thanks really quick before I take off. Uh, so shot done. Thank you for that sub. I appreciate it. Pastor Russ, thank you for the follow. Old Man Gaming, thank you for the follow. Socho with the follow. Your friend John, thank you for the follow. Uh, Gormanator, thank you for the follow. David Remeral, Remeral, thank you for the follow. Boxy Buffalo with a follow. Have a bread, thank you for the follow. Also, Silver Spell with the amazing seven person raid. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we had an anonymous cheer for 100 bitties. Um, V1 Rotate, V2 Simmer, thank you for the follow. Typical Warden with a follow. Montana Black with a follow. Crippid Creeper with a follow. Um, let's see, Wisconsin with a follow, and that is it. That's everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Boxy, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <sighs> everybody, thank you so much. Thank you for everything. So let's raid uh Viper Strike 95. Yep, he is on right now. Let me get the let me get it pulled up really quick, get this raid started. Um, I'll show the raid messages in just a minute y'all please copy and paste these raid messages rock rock You're very welcome. It was beautiful. Thank you for the information about the areas. We flew over There we go. All right Viper strike 95 is where it's at today uh, raid messages are gonna be right here so if you are a sub and a lot of people are subs thank this thanks to to your you and some very kind other viewers if you're not a sub this is your message and that's cool too subs are never expected but always appreciated so copy those messages let's get this raid going so i wish y'all happy flying a uh, smooth flight smooth skies uh smooth landings uh, I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. See you tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Zulu. We will be in New Zealand. Um, let me jump back to... Let me jump back here really quick. I need to do a group flight. I mean, a group photo, if if I can, really, really quick. Uh, everyone, yeah, everyone's gone already. Sorry about that. Okay, I always, I always try to do group flights, and I forgot this time. So let's get this raid started, everyone. Thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. Um, uh oh, hit the wrong button. Sheesh. There we go. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Let's start the raid. Show uh, Viper Strike some scruffy love. See y'all. Bad. See ya, Imagine Blondie. Y'all take care. See you tomorrow. Good night.